I bust that nigga ass right now. Ain't no but none of them niggas can't fuck. What? Nigga, you could never fuck me, my nigga. I'll fuck you up right now. What? 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 Fuck bust your motherfucking ass, boy. Ain't no motherfucking joke. You know who you talk to? Old dirty bastard. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck you up right now. Yeah. What? 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 that nigga dirty. I'm the one man on me, they saw I never been tookin' out. I keep MCs looking out. I drop signs like cross be dropping babies. Enough to make a nigga go crazy. In the G building, taking all types of medicines. Your ass thought you were better than a son. I keep playing it in orbit while I be coming with deeper and more shit. Enough to make you break and shake your ass as I create. Rhyme good as a tasty cake makes. This style, I mastered in. Niggas catching headaches, what, what? You need aspirin? This type of pain you couldn't even kill. But my door, fuck around, get sprayed with Lysol. In your face like a can of mace, baby. Is it burning with fucking hell you're learning? How? I don't even like your motherfucking profile. Give me my fucking shit. Wow, that seen and heard. No one knows, you forget. Niggas be quiet as death. Now you know nothing before you do a whole fucking lot. Your ass don't wanna get shot. A lot of MCs came to my show. Subscribe to Fuso. We put your fucking ass low down. As you can go below zero. Without a doubt, I never been taken out by a nigga who couldn't figure. Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure. Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure. How to pull a fucking gun trick. I said, get the fuck out of here. Nigga wanna get too close to the utmost. But I got stacks that'll attack any whack host. Introducing your fuck that nigga's name. My hip hop drops on your head like rain And when it rain, it pours up my rhymes hardcore That's why I give them more of the roar Tell them that I got what was off the spot MCs, I'll be burning, burning hot Whoa, ho, ho, let me like slow up with the flow If I move too quick, oh, you just won't know I'm homicidal when you enter the target Nigga, get up, act like a pig, try to hold shit so I take your ass out quick, the mic's some hat in my nigga You, you can, can suck, suck my dick If you wanna step to Somebody my Somebody said I, I should breath. sing it blow, 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 blow. I'm assuming you didn't you mean shot, it but you're knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Another motherfucking hard rock Slacking on your back and cause raw's what you lack You wanna react? Bring it on back yeah. Same with you, when you stepped up to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so Same with you, when you stepped up to the old dirty bastard From the rugged programming, my man ball balling, hey my man, I'm jamming. You can never touch my stamina while I'm ramming. A hip hop crowd makes me rah rah rah. Other MCs got flipped with the ease, making me for mercy. Go stop the music, please. No, cause I'm a pro. Back to the combo, make a crowd say ho. Had a strip show, represent. My name is a song, keep calm. Rhymes just smoky, funky like a stink bomb. Boom, blowing up niggas, man, put it in the trigger. So you better run back cover. Niggas gotta loosen their ass from the glass. A 40 ounce bottle. Yo, 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 money, yo, bass. I swear to lies. Is he gonna live that? No, the nigga died. The max in them up. MCs are populating. The main in them up. Those MCs are dominating. They're all in together now. Too. What, what, who? Rhymes come stinking like a girl's poo poo. Hip hop took the hopper and you just don't stop her. Hip hop took the hopper and you just don't stop her. Here I go once again. Rhyme get shitty from the time that I spend. I come old like toe from the smoke. That's my grandpa, pop, dude, give me so. Then I came with that old Al Green shit. Say he there, taught me the ballistic. I get you blurry in your eye with the high note down. To the Bronzeville, ooh, 
you got smoke. The shit I'm dropping is sticking up your area. But I shoot it through like a messenger carrier. I keep my breath smelling like shit so I can get funky. Uh, baby, I'm not having it. Hip hop to the hopper and you just don't stop up. Hip hop to the hopper and you just don't stop up. Hip hop to the hopper and you just don't stop up. Hip hop to the hopper and you just don't stop up. My ninja. What? Do you think your Wu Tang sword can defeat me? All right, well, that's quite enough of that. That's 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 quite enough of that. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I thought real long and hard. What would be a good song to start a stream about fighting people with? You know, what what's a good stream? A good opening song for a stream like that. And then I saw Brooklyn Zoo in my list. I, well, I, I initially I sc I scrolled and I, I hit thir like I went through my liked songs on Spotify and I hit thirty six chambers, and I was like, okay, well it's got to be like a it's got to be like a rap song, it's got to be like a, a we're gonna fuck you up rap song. Uh, and then I saw Brooklyn Zoo and it was perfect. Uh, yes, we're doing another public freakout stream. People fighting in Wendy's. People fighting in malls. People battling. If there's another throwdown in Toontown, we will watch it. We've now seen we've now seen two fights in in Disneyland or Disney World or whatever. Uh, if there are any fights in like a fucking Six Flags, that'd be pretty dope. Uh, I have a few that people saved. I'm assuming people in chat will have suggestions for things to look up, and uh, hopefully we'll find some new stuff. Uh, last time we, I think we only encountered one video that I had done pri prior. Because, uh, like, a couple years ago, I did a, a, a stream where we looked at, you know, public freakouts and care. But we didn't even really get to Karen's. We didn't get to, like, show me to your manager. We were mostly just looking at, like, people fighting in fucking Chuck E. Cheese's and shit like that. Uh, which was pretty great. It was pretty, it was a, it was a pretty great moment in time. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is now, what day is it? I think it's, it's Saturday. That's right. I thought it was Saturday. Okay, good. Good. Uh, what about Brazilian fights? Well, when I looked up public freakouts on uh, Google to, like, find a, you know, a, 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 a thumbnail, one of the first things that came up was some kind of a Filipino fight, like, happening, I guess, in the Philippines, and, and uh, you, know, you know, it was, like, people, like, being knocked down to the ground and getting titties pulled out and whatnot. And, uh, it, it looked pretty exciting. It looked pretty exciting. So, you know, maybe we'll get international in this one. I don't know. Because it's mostly been America so far. We've mostly been centered on, like, America. I don't know, maybe the, uh, there's one, one of the first ones we're going to look at is going to be Canadian, actually. So we're already off to a great start. If anybody in chat has any suggestions for big pub public brawls, doesn't have to be, like, a huge brawl, but just, like, a fist fight in a fucking McDonald's or whatever, you know, where somebody picks up a chair. You know, and we can play the Final Fantasy battle music or something. I think I might have the stream deck working again. But as, as I'm sure as you can already tell, that's going to be a comedy of errors that unfolds throughout the stream. So don't even worry about that. Uh, I'm sure it will break again. But uh, but, but, but yeah, no, uh, uh, maybe we'll internationalize this one a little bit. Black Friday Brawl. I want to see old farts fighting. Oh, you want like a like a retirement home fight? Uh, that, that would be good. That would be I don't know if such a video exists, but we could we could look for it. We could look for it. Um. Let's see, we got two bucks from Griff Goldstein. Where is your manager? <laughs> well, I, uh, I I manage this whole shit show myself, and that's why it's that's why it's that's why it's uh, such a such a nightmare. Two bucks from Victor Martinez. Uh, did you manage to get some sleep? I did. I did actually. I was uh, I was happy to to do so uh, for for once. Uh, you know, feeling good. Slap leave my slap my thighs. Feeling fresh. However that saying goes, you know, I'm feeling good. 
Uh, two bucks from Caffeine Father. Are you aware of Soy Jack Party Video Archives? And anything like the, the, the Soy Jack kids? Like the fucking Soy, Soy Jack um, Finger Family videos? Is that is that related to that? Let me take a look. Soy Jack video. What is it? Soy Jack... Soy Jack Party Video Archive. Well, no, I'm not familiar with this. This is from the Sharty and Soy Buru, made from various soy teens and me occasionally. Uh, and this is... I don't know, uh, I guess this is probably, uh... Well, this is, yeah, this is related to the, fam the the finger family stuff, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, this seems to be originate from probably like a, I don't know, like an 8chan or something, some kind of, you know... Some sort of a, maybe a, a Soy Jack themed Discord that spawned from like 4chan, I don't know, but, uh, very tied into, you know, Chan stuff and, uh, I guess poll memes, there's, there's one here. I know you can't see it, by the way. Uh, there's one here. I hereby formally invite you to Islam down here, and there's, you know, uh, lots of, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff that looks like it could be, po uh, somewhat controversial, uh. We got a Soylent over here. Always good. I always appreciate a good Soylent meme. Gotta love that. Um, uh, Soylent meme is people. Uh, yeah, no, we've looked at the Soy, uh, the, the Soy Jack kids, like, finger family shit. It's very strange. I would like to maybe... It's one of those things where I don't want to do the video where I, like, dive into where that's coming from. But I'd love to see, I don't know, fucking Nexpo talk about it or something. The Strange Case. Of Soy Jack kids. And there's all these like weird effects and stuff. 4chan is a very scary place on the internet. And you just imagine how that how that how that video would go already. Like like it is an internet hate machine. People on 4chan have apparently even said the N word. Like, yeah, um uh so I, I, I wanna watch the video that, that, that dissects Soy Jack kids finger family. I don't necessarily want to. We looked at it a little bit. It was very strange and kind of disturbing. Uh, two bucks from Spacey Stars. Yo, man, I give you a pass, Lamal. Well, thank you. I, uh, I, I, I use my, my ninja pass respectfully. Uh, you know what? It, uh, how about this? How about this? If I ever accidentally say it, if I ever have a bridge moment, which don't worry, it would be, it would be a soft one if it happened. If it does accidentally happen. Which I don't think it has on stream yet, ever. But, like, if it ever did, then I will refer back to the day when you gave me the pass. And I will say, listen, listen, I my, my paperwork is all in order, okay? I had, I, if I ever die really hard in a video game, like, maybe I'll also just exercise that, that right. I'll hold that, I'll hold on to that pass. I'm gonna screenshot it. Uh, 684 from Exiled Postman. Sadly, I'm only halfway through my route, otherwise I'd be watching. Hopefully you'll still be going by the time I get home. I love public freakouts. Well, uh, yeah, hopefully I will. Uh, we might be going for a while. I, I was planning on transitioning, and I hope you're all very proud of me for that. Uh, I was planning on transitioning over to uh, guitar uh, stuff at a, uh, at a later point. Maybe do a little composition. I wanted to try to write a song with chat. We were doing that on Twitch yesterday, uh, going through some of my samples and fitting them together like Lego blocks and trying to make them all sound right. And, uh, yeah, maybe do some, some stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. We'll be going for a while, though. So, uh, one, one way or another. Uh, hopefully the public freakout element will, uh, will, will, will not. Because I'm worried because, you know, I, I, I feel, I felt back a couple years ago like we had more or less watched a lot of the public freakouts that existed. And we've got some new ones. But as it's turning out that there, there's also a bunch from, like, ten years ago or older that I never even saw. Uh, so, so we were watching those last time, and like I say, I'd like to try to watch some that aren't from America this time, so if people have suggestions, you know, for, like, uh, you know, uh, maybe they know a specific incident of, like, a battle that occurred at a fucking chippy in, in, in Norwich or something, I don't know, maybe there's, like, a, an Oktoberfest drunken brawl in Germany, I, I don't know, I don't know, but, like, that would be cool. Uh, two bucks from Griff Goldstein, fights in supermarkets? Um, I, I guess so. Yeah, that would be, that would be good. We looked at Walmart 
uh, brawls last time. There were there were various Walmart War, Walmart freakouts. Um, I imagine there's probably some good like coronavirus related like toilet paper brawls. You know, don't you buy all the Lysol, you whore? I need it for my family to disinfect us every day, or you know that kind of thing. Um, so that could be pretty exciting. Two bucks from the dislike button. There's there's girl that got jumped by ten girls in a McDonald's. Well, uh, that just sounds very unfortunate for her, I would say. P uh, poor little that girl. Uh, you, you know. Uh, on the other hand, maybe she, you know, maybe she started it. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I wasn't there. Uh, but but uh, yeah, if there's a video of that, we might stumble upon it. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna get started here. Uh, we got the the soy jack stuff going on here. Let me uh, bring us to. So people <clears throat> people sent me a few recommendations last stream. When I was ending, I saw the Super Chats. I was like, okay, I'll take a look at this next time. Uh, <clears throat> and, and today has started. This is the next time. Uh, and the, the first the first one is a little bit confusing because I'm not sure exactly, exactly what I'm supposed to be looking at here. There's no video with the exact title that I was told to look for. It is Monroe Mall Floor Fight. And you'll see that there's like Monroe Mall fights. This doesn't really look like it's at a mall. It looks like it's in a residential neighborhood, kind of. A video of fight at Mall of Louisiana. These are all shorts. But then there's this one uh, in Mississauga. Right near me, baby. Unless there's a fucking Mississauga in Kansas or some stupid shit. Um, right near me, baby. And uh, very exciting stuff. So there's not, there's, there is, because it's a Dollarama. This is the, the, the Mississauga, which is, you love to see it. Uh, why does why are the dislikes available on shorts? But that's weird. I guess do I, I do have the return dislikes thing. What is this thing? Something some download of mine failed apparently. Okay, I have the return dislikes thing, but I thought it was broken. Anyways, yeah, this is apparently a fight happening in Mississauga. Uh, if I hang on a second, if I. Yeah, set it to video instead of shorts, and then you can tell this was a year ago. This was in uh, June twenty seventh. Well, this is two years ago. Okay, I hate, I hate YouTube. I hate YouTube. Um, uh, two years ago. Well done, students. You came to Canada for this purpose. Shame. Uh, diversity is our str oh boy. Uh, well, uh, I guess this is a twenty seven second fight. What's going on? Oh! Man's got a cricket bat out! Oh boy! Serious business! Wow, yeah, you're just at your Walmart trying to get some eggs. Crap Jode over here is not having any of this. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, well, yeah, that, that was uh, happening in Mississauga, apparently, in 2021. Uh, quite, quite, a, quite something. I remember last year when I came out here, there was a fucking carjacker. There was a serial carjacker who had stolen, like, 200 cars or something, uh, wh wh while I got there. I remember I was walking, I was just out walking one day, and, and, like, fucking 20 cop cars went by me, and I was like, well, I guess they fucking, they're, they're hot on the trail of that guy, probably. And as it turns out, I believe that was the day that they found him. So that's pretty cool. Uh... But yeah, maybe I was intended to watch this. <clears throat> Is this a mall? Oh boy. Well, this doesn't look- this looks like it's an organized bat. This doesn't look like it's just a brawl. This looks like it's a fucking, you know, like, fight club kind of- kind of deal. Uh, video of fight at Mall of Louisiana. Okay, we're here at the mall. We got our- our- our little sweetening in the tiny car, pushed by the family. This lady's over here getting her dentures done, and uh-oh, there's a, there's a scene occurring in front of the Hot Topic. Where else would it be in front of the Hot Topic? Oh, we zoom in. Drastic zoom in. Oh boy. Oh, there's pulling, pulling weaves and whatnot. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Here comes, like, Ray, Ray Liotta over here to try and break it up. Oh boy. I mean, appreciate, I, I do appreciate these people for all having a bit of a good 
spirit about it. If you remember the one video we watched last stream, there was this um, there was this fight in the middle of this like very somewhat fancy restaurant. It was like a, I don't know, not that fancy, but it was like a Perkins. You know, it was like a, an old people, uh, you know, old old old, uh, old retired couples kind of restaurant. And there was some fight that was going on. And the moment that this, like, large black guy grabbed this little shrimpy dude who was causing trouble and he, like, grabbed him by the, the shoulder or something, everybody just started freaking out and screaming and, like, f fucking scurrying like, like, like scared little rats. And here it's like there's a brawl happening and people are just giggling and tittering, which is nice. I mean, that's good. That, 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 makes, you, that makes you happy. It's good to see that. I mean, this appears to be, like, a chick fight. You know, one of them, something, 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 baby daddy. I don't know. Probably a bit of a vast oversimplification if I had to I, I guess. But, you know. Uh, as I said last time, who's to say whether this fight uh, can, can truly ba passes the Bechdel test? We, will, we, will, we, will, we really don't know. Uh, gotta love that hair pulling. <laughs> very simple very simple classic you know mall brawl you'll, you'll love to see it uh yeah i don't know if this was the 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 thing that i was expected to be looking for fight at california mall caught on camera 36 seconds a hundred person fight at three dollar movie night at theater in michigan nine months ago a hundred person wow hundred man melee over here what the hell uh the mall cop barking. Oh, did the mall car? Did the mall cop say a woo? Did that happen? Uh, we got uh, two bucks from Griff Goldstein. Oktoberfest brawl with a little German flag, and then ten bucks from Piles and no message. Uh, thank you, thank you both very much. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, th th was there an a woo? I must have missed the a woo. Uh, shit, Shenmue intensifies. Well, yeah. Now we have like a. This is like a something in the water. Everybody battling. I don't know what the. I wonder what the movie was. They dropped the tickets down to just $3 and this incited everybody to battle. What was the movie? Maybe it was like The Purge. I don't know. Maybe it was like a really, really bad movie. You know? I, I don't know. Maybe it was like a movie that was that was like too intellectual and everybody was like confused and frustrated by it. And they decided to beat each other up. Um... Oh, they're mobbing on the cops now. Oh. They're mobbing on the cops now. They're mobbing on those cops. I mean, you can't even really see anything. Oh, they're mobbing on the cops They're mobbing on those cops now. Yeah, I mean, can't even really see much of what's happening in this one, but that's that's an interesting situation. I had a, I had a theater for some reason. Mayfair Mall site of one of several mall fights in U.S. Monday. I guess we should do like like Black Friday brawls too. I mean, it, we should save that for Black Friday, I guess. But like that would be a good source of these types of fights. You know, especially at malls. Mayfair Mall takes action after fight. Well, it may be very strange. Yada yada yada. This was the scene at the Fox Valley Mall in Aurora, Hell yeah, Illinois. Dude. Hell eight yeah. kids have been arrested and charged. Police eight are kids? What, why eight kids? What do you mean eight kids? I mean, I guess they instigated it, but it seems to be a pretty big brawl happening. Looking into whether social media played a role in organizing the fight and if it was connected to other disturbances happening nationwide. <sighs> Here's a mall in suburban Denver, Colorado. It had to be evacuated after an arrest led to hundreds of young people gathering there. There were what? similar scenes, at least five of them. Does anybody know what the fuck is happening? This was from six years ago. This was from 2016. Ah, uh, would this be related to the fucking clown epidemic? Wasn't that 2016? This can't be clowns. Trump? I don't think so. I don't think it was Trump. Ah. Uh. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine what's going on. Was it just a Snapchat influencer or something? Two bucks from Victor Martinez. The fall of Western civilization. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, maybe. Uh, actually, yeah, come to think of it, these are happening more and more frequently lately. And I mean, people are just randomly... I, I, I have mentioned it before. Henry Zabrowski from last podcast posits that the reason why everybody is, like, fighting each other and there's just more... 
like random aggressive behavior from people is because they got like covid brain fog and they're just like aggressively like lashing out like fucking like like cavemen or whatever uh you know the 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 lower intelligent among us the 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 plebeians you know the the ones who the ones who just froth at the mouth and and start like you know banging their heads against the wall because they uh, because they're you know, you know slightly upset about something or whatever, uh, which I guess maybe that's the start of this. I don't know, uh, but this was six years ago. You know, not not really COVID brain fog, but I, I don't know. There's just been an an, an increased trend, a, a tr an upward trend in in people like just just you know what you you know what fuck it. I don't care if I go to jail. I'm just gonna beat on this this fucker. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna slap this fucker shit in front of the hot topic. God damn it! Just, just fuck you. <laughs> like, there's like, it's like less inhibitions, less worry about the consequences for what they're doing. Like, you'd think that there would be more of an understanding, as like, you know, as time goes on, you'd have more access to information that, like, oh, right, if I start a fight in front of a fucking McDonald's. You know, I'm probably going to get in trouble for that. Like, but I, I guess there's just, they do, there's less of a, I don't know, less inhibitions for some reason. Uh, it's interesting. But yeah, this was six years ago, this one. Uh, this was in 20, I mean, again, I don't know if it's exactly six years ago. You know, bad math, but it was in 2016, uh, December of 2016. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this was, uh, I don't know what would have, I would, I don't know what would have led to this. It said that there, that there was like, what, what did it say? Here's a mall in suburban Denver, Colorado. It had to be evacuated after an arrest led to hundreds of young people gathering there. There were similar scenes, at least five other malls on Monday, including Mayfair. That's where we find Lauren Winfrey, who is standing by live with more. Lauren. So there was like a series of mall riots happening on the same day. This is like a coordinated effort or something. I mean, they said that they arrested eight kids in association with these mall brawls or this mall brawl, this one specific one. Are these all being, or was this some sort of an orchestrated fucking effort? Was this like a, was this like one of those like TikTok trends? Go to the mall and beat some bitch's face in? I don't know. Yeah, that fight prompted mall management to take action. In fact, the parental guidance curfew that's enforced on weekends for teens under 18 at Mayfair Mall, well, it's enforced right now, and that's all as a result of yesterday's incident that was all captured on video. Take a look at this. Teenage girls throwing punches and kicking right outside of Barnes & Noble <laughs> in the mall. Well, but, okay, so this is teenage girls. I mean... It was saying before that, like, that there was a riot because they, they you know, the cops were called or, or something like this seems, this seems like it would be unrelated. Uh, I mean, this, this, this does seem like another thing where it's just like, did, you know, just some people got in an argument and started fighting each other rather than like some kind of coordinated. Why were they all happening at the same time? Just this massive influx of mall battles all on like one day apparently witnesses say Around this isn't what they expected to cross paths with while doing a little shopping the day after christmas first i seen this girl like yelling they were just yelling okay now come on now what is the apostrophe in your name doing what is this doing what it's camp your name is cameron i mean i guess it's not it's like cameron or something but like come on man with the fucking apostrophe. Ugh. So I was walking to my car. I just seen one girl spit on the other girl as she got the swinging. I usually just go uh, there when I'm shopping. You know, she was willing to grace you by spitting on you and you st you had to start a fight with her? How dare you? But you know what I'm saying? I seen a wrestling match that day. In this fight that Cameron Johnson describes as a wrestling match that has mall management and security on May at Mayfair Mall on alert tonight, but Wauwatosa police say this fight is an isolated incident and it shouldn't be grouped in with a number of other fights that have also broke out the day after Christmas at malls. I guess, yeah, it is like the day after Christmas. Is it like, is I guess it's like some kind of a Christmas-fueled rage, holiday season stress might be leading to it, but it's the day after Christmas. America doesn't even have Boxing Day. 
So what do they do in shopping the day after Christmas? Does America have, like, deals on shit after? Because that's what we do in Canada. We've got Boxing Day. We've got, like, Boxing Week sales the day after Christmas. You know? So, like, people would be rushing to the mall the day after Christmas. Here. I don't know about that in the U.S. Why are people prowling on, 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 on Boxing Day? I mean, it's not that kind of boxing. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Across the country, and I did speak with police. They confirmed that no one was seriously injured or taken to the hospital as a result of this fight. And police are still working together. Fighting the for the scraps. Fight, yeah. Reporting live in Wauwatosa. Returning shit. Somebody asked what my opinion is on log posting. Oh, you mean that fucking Andy Six shit log thing? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what log posting is? That's what comes to mind immediately is the fact that they, that so, some, like, I have to assume it's like one or two people on B who still find that funny. And it's been like, just, I remember that was annoying when I like left B like over a decade ago. And every now and then I look back on there and there's still just like a fucking Andy Six shit log thread. Uh, and I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Talk about a meme that like, it, it, it's like if we were still seeing advice dogs completely unironically on B every day. It's quite something. I assume that's what log posting is. Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Lauren. Nikki St it's Sticks. I make videos. Whatever. Oh, oh, now we're doing not just well, Maybe. Okay. Cool. Uh, 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 visit to the, yeah, so this was, yeah, several, several mall fights in U.S. Mall of Monroe, uh, Monroe man kills it. Yeah, so I was told to look up a Monroe mall floor fight. I don't know what that exactly is. Uh, if they were wanting me to look up this video, which appears to be just like two people, you know, in like an organized street fight, street fight kind of, kind of setting. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, but uh, that was one sus, one sus suggestion, one such suggestion. Uh, I, I had also uh, this one. This was uh, specifically uh yes how long is this video five minutes and 26 seconds okay i don't know if this is the famous one. Oh, there's a few of these okay there's a few of these okay well no there's okay well i was told to look up mcdonald's ottawa fight and it appears that there's a couple of uh uh mcdonald's ottawa related things but then there's also just other um, uh, mcdonald's fights that are happening too this one's 11 minutes down here that's exciting uh, apparently this lady goes crazy. Watch till the end, which I really need, need to put on the end of all of my video titles, like, just so people have to. They have to when, they, when I say that. Um, Ottawa, I, I'll we'll click on this one. Ottawa McDonald's freak out. This is five minutes, five and a half minutes. Idiot at three in the morning freaking out at McDonald's staff and customers because, because, because he couldn't get a junior chicken. Uh, not even a, ma a normal McChicken, man? Come on. Look it up. It's not true. I'm actually talking proper English. Look it up. No, you're gonna have that feeling. I'm not sure. Call the cops. Please. Hopefully, somebody said you were a bitch enough. Please leave. Call the cops. Please. So. So yeah, he's calling her a bitch. He's saying something about proper English. They're in Ottawa, so maybe he was like being he was he was being somebody was being rude to him because maybe they were french and he was english maybe and he was like he got an, a hint of attitude and he wasn't having any of it baby i'm not having it uh maybe that's what it is i don't know as always with these videos we tend to jump in in media res in the middle of the argument uh the lady's asking him to leave he's like fuck you bitch call the cops uh and and uh she uh is now you know leaving presumably to call the cops um we've just started it's already the tensions are high turning tensions twisted coil uh oh shit here it goes male karen is um, is darren <laughs> or kevin i guess <laughs> so good whoa whoa wait sexism all of a sudden ladies and men are different Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. This guy kind of looks like Chris Chan. He looks like Chris Chan, Randy Quaid. You know? We're supposed to be different for later than men. Sure. Why are we arguing about sexism at 3 a.m.? Sir, this is a McDonald's. Here for help. No, 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 wait. Ladies and men are different. I really have to look and see if there are Wendy's fights so that I can, I can, I can drop a sir. This is a Wendy's like every minute, you know, like because that that won't get obnoxious. No one's helping me about. I guess so. 
So we're supposed to punch men and not hit ladies and open doors for men and not ladies? We're different for everybody. No, no, tell them that I said the word bitch. Are you kidding me? No, no, say what I said. World star. I think I'm gonna start calling him a fucking bitch. You said what I said. I'll I'll cover the you. You said I said bitch that. It's a proper English word. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is. It's rude. I mean, why were you calling people a bitch? I get because you couldn't get a a McChicken or something. A junior chicken. Sorry, not even. This guy didn't even have like like. Okay, you want a full McChicken? Like, all right, maybe that's an appetite that's big enough that you're going to start a fight over this. A junior chicken? That's like a snack. You can't be this angry over a snack. If it was like, hey, I want three McChickens because I've been lumberjacking all day, you know? Like, that's real. Then you might really have something there. But you can't be this angry over, um, I just want a little junior chicken. What the fuck you mean I can't have my junior chicken? Bro, get a muffin. I don't know. You always see this. These people that are so entitled that they... The world does revolve around them. And when they can't get their way, they have a tantrum. And they cannot make peace with the idea that they might need to compromise and have something else. Have a Junior Cheeseburger. Have one of those muffins right there. I don't know. Have a fucking... It's like 3 a.m. Have like a uh, 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 bacon and egg or, or whatever. Does that count as using the pass? Have one of those. Uh, have an egg McMuffin, whatever you call them. Uh, have, 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 have one of those, you know? But no, it's always these people that like, that it has to be their way. They were never denied as a child. And, and now, you know, their, their, their t- childish tantrums manifest in the form of violent outrage and and screaming about beating women or whatever and calling people bitches in the middle of the McDonald's at 3 a.m. while you look like Chris Chan. Because if you were to go to Reno Street and see the spit fights that they see, you're calling the cops on me because I wanted proper service. And you're not properly servicing. Is this all mine? Maybe you should get on your knees. For what? Maybe you should get on your knees. Uh, bro, uh, you know. Listen, I respect the vibe, but you can't. You gotta. You gotta. You know. Again, you gotta look less like you. You. You could be wearing a want woman T-shirt right now while you're, you know, trying to trying to be all all uh uh uh, 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 uh do- dominator e or whatever you're doing. Whatever he's trying to do, he's trying to be alpha or something. I guess he's like. You should get on your knees, yeah. Ugh, I deserve to be served. I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Um, he's trying to make a point. He's he's trying to make a point about sexism and like double standards. I, and I mean that, you know, though th- th- those exist, sure. But is it usually the time and place to to bring them up like immediately in the middle of the service line? Like, you know, there's probably a lot of double standards that could be brought up when you're, like, buying some sort of product or whatever. Uh, and, like, you don't stop the fucking business and scream and shout because of your double standard. I don't even see what the double standard is here. Exactly. Uh, he, he thinks that... Uh, something about, like, how you're not allowed to uh, hit women if they're, like, sh- being shitty to you, I guess. Uh, which is like, okay, I mean, you know, you can have that conversation, I guess, but, uh, y- you know, uh, again, this is a fucking McDonald's at 3 a.m. Just have a McChicken. Or not. Have, like, a fucking, f- have one of these, like, like, Sundays. Just ask them what they have and have it. Fuck. You said get on your knees? Okay, okay. What do you mean by that, okay, okay. sir? Okay, okay. Oh, get my service. Knees? Angus Burger, what's that? Go get Luke. No way. Go get Luke. I'm, I'm stout. I love when women want better right service now. than men, but they want equal service. Yo, I love. Why is this a why is this a sex a, 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 a like a sex issue? Why is this like a uh? Why are we gendering the McDonald's orders? I mean, I think that if a woman came in right now and asked for a junior chicken, which 
to be honest, is a very effeminate thing for you to order, sir. I'm going to just tell you that now. You couldn't have got a real McChicken like a man? But, you know, uh, if a woman came in for asking for a junior chicken, uh, like a, you know, they'd probably also tell her no. Uh, and presumably she may be nicer and less crazy than you and, and might not have, like, bad service with the people because they're, you know... I mean, again, they probably you probably brought a lot of this on yourself. You, you seem to have an attitude. When people like you get arrested, open the door for me. Go, go, treat me bad, though. Dude. Man, chill. Oh. Open the door for me, though. Don't treat me bad. Why is this about women? I don't understand. Because is, is it because of the lady? Because because it was a lady who he was talking to? I mean, I don't know. I I guess that I mean. You know, you could argue that I, there's context usually that's missing in videos like this. If you've never seen one of these streams, like the one we did last week or whatever, uh, there's usually context missing uh, in the form of like, you know, we never see what causes the argument, uh, what leads the argument to happen. You know, uh, usually the video starts while when the argument has already begun, because why would you start filming before there is already like screaming happening? Uh, so, so... There's possibly an element to this that we aren't seeing, but from what I saw, there, there's, I mean, it literally is just there was a woman there, and now he's turning this into his George Carlin stand-up act, his tight five about how women and men are not treated equally in fast food restaurants or something. Got Mickey from Doctor Who over here trying to calmly explain to this guy like what you're doing right now is not helping the MGTOW movement, bro. I'm a sympathizer. I also support Sargon. But like, man, you're gonna have to step outside and realize that this is not the time and the place. You've got to go and write your blog about how it, uh, 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 about it, and how those women betrayed you, and 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 all of that. And and then they'll listen to you, brother. Fight the good fight. No, no, I asked her to treat me the same as a man. Nate, no, she let her go. I said treat me the same as a woman. This is so good. Somebody in the chat says he's mad there was no Peter Griffin pirate action. <laughs> I wanted the pirates! Where was my- I wanted my pirate toy with my junior chicken! Where's my pirate toy? Oh. I'm just waiting for the world, sir. Do this is awesome. Do something about it! Come on, buddy. Oh, just retarded. Both. Oh, man, there's like... He's like, tr I don't know why he's trying to start a fight. I mean, I guess he wasn't hungry for a full McChicken, but he was hungry for battle. <laughs> I guess that's what's happening here. Uh, he's now like, you can see him staring this guy down. He really seems to, I mean, again, you know, he looks like, he looks like a Chris Chan you know, physique and face structure, kind of. He looks, he's very Chris Chan shaped. Uh, could confuse his silhouette, possibly, for, like, a 2008 Chris Chan. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, like, there, I guess there's just this attempt to be, like, dominant or whatever. We got Leon Lush coming in over here to try and console Mickey from Doctor Who and be like, hey, bro, hey, bro, listen, this guy's crazy. You don't need to, you don't need to start with... Start a fight with this guy because he's got brain worms. And uh, this dude is just like ooga booga out right now. That's a good face that he has on there right now. Do uh, something! All I said was to wait for the Man, you're pissed off because you can't get a fucking chicken burger. Chill out. I always enjoy the people like this this lady in the red. 
who like they they cherish the fact that they're involved in this right now and she's just like yeah this is gets this gets to be a fun moment that i get to tell people about and i'm gonna be in the video and like yeah does anybody dude, this was the order with the small fries mm, anybody getting that mm, yeah world star like I, I you know that's good you know do you take that opportunity that's great hey, 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 I'm waiting for mine. Do you have the Angus? No, Angus. They're like all still, amidst all this chaos, shout outs to the McDonald's workers who are still preparing food currently and like trying to give these people their orders amidst this dinner theater that is occurring. I knocked him out. Hey! They're going to say what you say when they come Fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of my face, you tiny piece of shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not tiny. What are you, one third of my size? What the fuck are you? God bless, buddy. Buddy, anybody is one third of your size. <laughs> okay, now he's not that fat. Come on, now. He's not, he's not like. I wouldn't say it's that his. It's not even that he's like shaped particularly. He's not like a morbidly obese man. But he does have this like. You know, very, very diagonal swoop to his head and his neck and, like, his posture. And, I mean, you know, we all have, like, posture is difficult in this computer age, in this computer belt uh, in which in which we live. Uh, but, but not great. Uh, yeah, the, the whole, the whole get up. I mean, it's like this strange attempt. It's because you usually see people like this and they are, they tend to be somewhat meek. Like a Chris Chan, and like they would, I mean, Chris Chan would spray someone in the face with mace, but like, you know, he's not gonna do this, right? Uh, usually you see people like this and they're somewhat meek, but or like, or they aren't like this and they're dressed in a way that's a little more, like, I could see this guy here, maybe being a guy who would start a battle. And be like, F fuck you, bro, you're like half my size, bro, fuck me, F fucking fight me, bro. Like, I could see backwards cap dude doing this. But this guy... This guy seems like he, based on looks alone, he looks like, he looks like he should be way too timid for what he's doing here, which, like, I guess shout outs to him for having the balls. He, you know, he's got confidence that belies his demeanor. But, like, but what? Nobody's even asked what the women think. Is it because there was another lady who was being served? And so he started complaining that he wasn't getting his burger and somebody else... Maybe that's what it was. Or again, it was because the person he was dealing with was a woman. That maybe and she deserves extra rights, I guess. Not fucking right. Why are you so... I special? agree! Oh. We dirt! Dude! Well, I mean, what? I... <sighs> what? Being a human? We all have fucking rights. Why are you so? I agree. We dirt, dude. We dirt. We all have. What, so... All right. <laughs> I'm trying to determine where someone said where where this woman who I guess is off screen said that she does deserve extra rights because he's claiming that she just said that and I'm not hearing that. Right? Why are you so? I agree. We dirt, dude. Yeah. I agree, we do. Why does she deserve extra? She doesn't, she's a fucking cute man. She just says like, she does. Okay, so you're a fucking bitch. She just says like she deserves I can't hear where she said that she deserved extra rights. Is it this lady that he's pointing to? Or it seems to be somebody off screen. This is the woman he was talking with earlier, who's now, I guess, calling the cops. Uh... Um, she just said she deserves extra rights. Okay, so you're a fucking bitch. I feel good. Because he's an absurd, demeaning to any human. You are honestly being so fucking rude. She wants extra rights. She wants extra rights. Where the fuck did that come from? That's what she said. No. I'm not. Yeah, I'm really not hearing where she apparently said that. I don't even know who he's referring to who supposedly said it. She said it. She fucking said it. Hey, hey. She said. I mean, like, 
you know, it's easy to, like, point the finger and laugh at this guy, obviously, because he certainly brought this upon himself, but... You know, it is one of those moments where you have to think and, you know, try to have, like, a compassionate thought and be like, I guess maybe this guy, I don't know, was, was probably having a really, <laughs> a really tough day. <laughs> and does that make this better? Uh, not really, no. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to be like, you know, there's probably, like, outside factors that led to him acting this way. I'm assuming he maybe this is an outburst that's not usual for him, you know, something. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to like give any kind of benefit of the doubt, but no matter what, it is sort of like, I don't know, if you're mad, like, I don't know, break something in your house or like get a fucking boxing, like a, like a punching bag, you know, you don't need to ruin other people's day and like take it out on them and get in their way and just cause a problem. For everybody, but I guess if you're you are this entitled about your junior McChicken, that I I guess you just are gonna be like that. So yeah, I guess if you I guess if you at any point at any stage in your life, like really even if you are, I, you know, I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt, but as I'm thinking about it, like even if you are having a really tough time, like if you've decided that oh they won't give me my junior McChicken, time to reenact the events of the video game Postal. I you know maybe that's not the right. Maybe that's not the right straw that breaks the camel's back, right? Maybe it needs to be a little bit more of a fucking... A little bit more of a, of a fucking important straw, I don't know, that breaks the camel's back. Because that's some bullshit. That's a really dumb thing to do all this this arguing about. At 3 a.m., no less. In this economy. I have to stop saying that. No, he doesn't deserve my pity, no. This is quick, Donald. <laughs> That's good. I do like how much he looks like Chris Chan. You're really getting a good look at him. He looks very much fit, like early Chris Chan. We're talking like Jule era Chris Chan, you know? And like, it's like, if, he, if this shirt was like striped, I mean, that would be like one to one. Alright, yeah, everybody's getting their junior chickens. <laughs> no, actually, nobody's getting junior chickens. Because they're out! They're get over it! Junior chickens. Once again, this is an argument over junior chickens. I don't know how it spiraled into a women's rights issue. <sighs> that tends to be the way of things these days. Once again, this was a movie about Ghostbusters. I don't know how it spiraled into a women's rights issue. Um... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, there are a lot of things you could argue. You could say you're being served improperly. You could say, no, not really. Again, I'm not, I'm trying to be devil's advocate man over here, but it's like, I, sometimes they're just out of shit, you know? Like, they're just out. What do you want? It's three in the morning. Get something else. I can't, I can't fucking fast it. Fa fa look, fa fuck. Go to another McDonald's if it's so pressing that you need the junior chicken right now and you can't have a McCheeseburger, you can't have a fucking a Mc, a McMuffin, you can't have a fucking a, a McFlurry or whatever, just have your fuck go to drive your Mc car over to fucking Mc, go fuck yourself somewhere else. Fuck. I now I see why it's Whatever, Nancy. Oh my god. Man, they can't just go to chicken toy. What are you all eating? Keep working on it, brother. Keep working on it. It's also like. This also started, it, and it felt like it was originally like a French English thing. Like, he, it, there's something about, I'm speaking proper English. It was like maybe he. Maybe it was like a. a uh, you know, an angry guy dealing with French people who were being rude to him or something. But no, it, it really has just become about he saw a woman and now he's angry. Which, I mean, that happens to me every day, to be fair. 31? Oh, my love. It's not working. And I still got more quickly. I still got your mom, so it's Whoa. all good. Whoa, yo! World he star. did it! World star! <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, my God. It's me. Man, I really hope that that escalated into a brawl, but we don't see it, so probably didn't. So yeah, that was six years ago. Ottawa, McDonald's, freak out. Idiot at three in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Nine, nine, July 9th, 3 a.m. 99 chance, 99% chance this dude browses Reddit. 
can see him racking his brain on good comebacks he read on Reddit. Yeah, personification of YouTube comments. A little bit. A little bit. I, I like this. Yeah, this is a good, this was a good moment. And with the, and with the give up, with the, with the, to the Tony Kornheiser meme there, that's great. That, that really earns my approval. Uh, one of, uh, let's see, a lady goes crazy at McDonald's over a broken milkshake machine. Watch till the end. This one's like 11 minutes long. And it was from four years ago. It's got four million views. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have uh, seen this, uh, have heard about this, and uh, and I guess now we are going to see this. Okay. So again. This appears to be a situation where they cannot comprehend that sometimes things things can't be exactly their way. And like, you know, there's a reason why they have a menu of items. And it's this is not a milkshake store where you go in to exclusively buy milkshakes. If that was the case, then it would be a problem that their milkshake machine is not working. Here it's just an inconvenience that makes you get a fucking ice cream cone or a blizzard or whatever the fuck they sell here. Uh, instead of a a a a a a a a a a milkshake, one of those really thick milkshakes they make that gets stuck in the in in the straw. Um. Uh. Yeah. No. I mean, again, it's just like fucking hell. There's just go to one if you need the milkshake. There are other McDonald's where presumably the milkshake will 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 happen for you. But this is not the gonna be the one because it's just not it's just not gonna be the one. They're not going to fix it for you now. You know, for you alone now. Like, that's just the way it is, and this is gonna be a le an eleven minute brawl about this. What do you mean? Did I have a stroke? Oh my god! <sighs> like, well, I. It's, it, the the great it would be it would be so like it would be so vice principal energy to just be like well I understand that that's what you want like yes I yep that is indeed what you want yes what you will receive and what you want are two different things as you will shortly see it, you know I mean. I guess it is somewhat on them. They could maybe, like, strike out the milkshake from their menu if the fucking machine is broken. But, to, I mean, and also if the milkshake machine is broken, they probably should have told her that, like, when she ordered it. So, I mean, there is, like, an element of this that's kind of, sounds like it might be McDonald's fault, but she, I mean, she, I mean. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm So wait. She didn't pay for it. So why do you even care, lady? God. I mean, maybe I'm just lazy. You know, I know I'm lazy. I don't have that much energy. I But this seems like a lot of energy to expend over a milkshake. What do you want to bet it was a small milkshake, too? Again, just like a very inconsequential item in the grand scheme of things. And and you're just, you're willing to, this is so much like exhaustion and, te and tenseness and, hey dude, you're so uncool, but hey, that's all right. There's no need to be uptight. Come on, man. Just, just, just fucking settle down. Just settle down. It's just a milkshake. Get a fucking cone. Get a cone. You know, you know, not enough people appreciate the cone. You know, everybody's in this fast-paced milkshake society. They don't appreciate a cone. Maybe get one that's got, like, the chocolate dip. I think they do that there. Do, do they? I think that might be Dairy Queen. But just get a cone. Or a, or a sundae. Come on, man. God, 
this, I mean, I mean, the last guy was entitled, but holy fuck, man, you're not allowed to do this to me anymore. Like, do what? The universe is not allowed to be, not, not bend to your will at this point in time? Is that what you're basically saying? You're not allowed to magically fix a machine that you don't know how to fix. And, what? I, oh my god. Just the, the, the very concept of living in this person's brain and being like this 24-7 is, is astounding. That's what is astounding. That's why I watch a video like this. It's not because of haha, -ha, funny, she scream. Or whatever. But it's because, like, you have to imagine this lady when she wakes up for five minutes in the middle of the night. And this lady when she, like, you know, she thinks a little bit and she's, she's in the shower and she's scrubbing and she's just thinking. And, like, what is going through her brain in those passing moments where she's not screaming at people? And, like, if she's willing to do this, like... Like, my god, just the brain chemistry. It's just the brain chemistry. Just the psychology of being this kind of person. Absolutely fascinating. So we can kind of not tell really what she's saying here. I'm trying to like skip around, but. But you didn't pay for it, so who cares? Like. This is like if you walk, this is a, essentially this situation is like if you walked into like a Denny's, not even, they have milkshakes. You walk into a fish market and you're just like, Hey, I want my milkshake. And you're like, well, they, well they're like, well, we can't provide you with one due to the reason, which is that we do not sell milkshakes, which in this case they do sell milkshakes, but they can't make them for you. So it's an equally valid reason that they cannot provide you with a milkshake. I guess, in this case, they probably do have it on the menu. Or maybe they don't. I mean, we can't really tell the menu that well. There's a thing that says beverages here. I can't see it, uh, you know, if it specifically mentions that they have milkshakes. Uh, they might have taken that off the menu and she's just going in there on spec like, Hey, it's McDonald's. They have milkshakes. I'll order a milkshake. And they're like, well, we don't have milkshakes. And she's like... Well, even though I didn't pay you, I'm still entitled to what I ordered. A as if that matters. Like, yeah, if you, I guess if you paid them, you'd really have something there, but fuck, man. Yeah, you ain't funny, you ain't doing this, bro. So, I would get back there and fix the goddamn chocolate milk machine, wouldn't you? But you had, you had ice cream in your cup, so what was that? I'll take that. Oh, it doesn't work anymore because you broke it just now. I would go fix it then if I were you. I would go fix it. Okay, then I'll wait. Like, she'll wait. She will wait. She will wait at the McDonald's in spite while this man waits, like, fixes the machine for four hours. Because you know that that's what that means, too, is like, and that would be great if you were this guy. You're just like, she's like, oh, good, go fix it, I'll wait. And you just fucking leave. Like, because how long will she wait? She probably will wait for a while. You just sneak out the back and it's like four hours later and she's like, he said it was going to be done soon. He said it was going to be done. Where is he? I don't see him back there. You just have like one of the people at the restaurant like, like fill in for you. Like, oh yeah, you know, he had to go get a tool from his truck. Oh, he went to the bathroom. Oh, you, you missed, you just missed him. You just missed him. He's just close. He's so close to fixing it. God. But this guy's trying to like actually deal with this entitled hussy. Ah! You're done. You're done. This shit is now over.
I mean, she keeps talking about, like, people following her around and how this has been happening. What did she say here? So, okay, so I think this is an ongoing saga where she keeps maybe going into this one McDonald's and having, like, like, oh, they don't have chicken nuggets. Oh, they don't have, like, straws this time and she needed a straw. And maybe this was the last straw. I mean, she's saying, but but there was something earlier about her being followed around town, so I think this might just be a crazy bitch. Completely. You're done. You're, You're done. done. You're fucking done. I'm not playing. You're done doing this shit to me. It's not okay. You're hella fucking done. You're done. You're done. God, she looks like she's tired. I mean, she just looks like she's. I mean, being this ex this this high strung. And like bitchy, it just must be exhausting, man. So. So wait. She doesn't. She wants them to like make shift a shitty milkshake for her. What like at this point? I mean, and then you would complain that it wasn't good enough. I'm guessing. Like, what are they just supposed to stir it around a bunch? I guess you could do that. I've done that before, but like. Like at the McDonald's, I mean that's not how that's not gonna be the same as the milkshake you're even looking for. This is definitely, I mean, it's go it it obviously I, I think it goes without saying. Most of us is, can probably tell that this is not about the milkshake. You know? It's like what it's like a movie where it's not really about what's happening. It's about the themes of what's happening. In this case, it's like this is just like I don't know, again, pent up frustration and like Something else in her life that maybe is beyond her control that's being, like, denied from her. You know, maybe. And this is, like, manifesting in the form of this, I think. Maybe that's what it is. Something to that effect. I mean, I, I, whatever it is, it's not the, the main source of frustration. She's willing to accept some shitty ice cream in a cup with, like, some, some chocolate syrup or whatever. And, and like, mixed around, I guess. I... I it's not about the milkshake. She doesn't want a delicious chocolate milkshake from McDonald's. She she wants the she wants people to say they're sorry and give her everything she wants, I guess, is basically what this is. I mean, yeah. There's probably there's a few probably some people in chat who are, you know, just like, why does she care so much about the milk? It's like, well, yeah, she doesn't, I mean, probably care that much. I mean, this could have been anything. This could have been, you know, this this is this is you know em emblematic of a bigger issue I guess you could say. Hi, sweetie. You guys still trying to call the cops? It's about W. Hang up, sweetie. Hang up. Valid. Yeah. Hang up. Valid. Do you not get it yet? You're not winning. No. <laughs> Come on, lady. Lady, say something funny. Order six twenty seven. I mean, and like you're there, and you know everybody is just laughing at you too. You can hear it. You know that this guy's filming you. You're fighting the urge to look away. Well, like you're you're fight rather you're fighting the urge to look over at the camera. A lot of people will confront the camera people and be like, "How dare you film me? Give me your phone and that kind of thing." But like in this case, I think it is just this like denial of no, no, no. This is this is I'm justified. You know, whatever. I don't know. 
I mean, I'm no expert in this sort of thing, but yeah, it's just it's just very interesting to imagine yourself. To imagine how you, like, watching this could ever get into a situation like this, where you're, like, frothing at the mouth over a milkshake. And, like, if, if there could ever be a justifiable, you know, reasoning for you to get it to be like this, you know? And I don't think there is. Order 231! Oh, no, it's not. That's what you decided to do after you fucking treated me like shit for a year and a half. That's what you did after you treated me like shit for a year and a half. You don't realize you don't get to fucking do things to me every day and if I'm pretty or say something back to you, you don't get to fucking fuck me up or do a goddamn thing to me. Don't oh man, they really, they, she did not exit that McDonald's unmolested. Let me tell you that much. She, the, the people of the McDonald's have been fucking her over and fucking her over for, for, for a year and a half. Uh, first it was that time when the drink machine was broke, and then it was the fact that the ice cream machine is always broken, and then it was the fact that they get, they gave me a double quarter pounder instead of a Big Mac that one time, and then they, my boyfriend tried to get a McChicken, a junior chicken one time at 3 a.m., and they couldn't give it to him, and it wasn't this McDonald's, it was one in Ottawa, but fuck you, whatever, it's a chain thing, it's, they all, you're all connected. And now you're going to tell me I can't have my milkshake. Well, I'm just going to get, you know what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make some soft serve right here on your fucking counter, you, you cunt. And like this guy's laughing at her and this lady can't believe it. And this lady is incredulous. Elizabeth Olsen over here is just incredulous about what's happening. Do you understand that? Order 632. Do you not understand that? Do you not understand that I'm not a fucking human target? Do you not understand that? You in no way, shape, or form get to fucking do anything to me ever again. Do you understand that? Oh my god, you're getting a milkshake, lady. I'm sorry about whatever traumatic thing happened to you, but it sure did not happen at the hands of these people or their milkshake machine. I'm sorry. Do you not get that yet? Order 630. Do you not understand that yet? She's about to mi cry. It. No, nobody's laughing now because it's not a joke now. Somebody says, this is sad. Stop. And it's like, well, they told me to watch till the end, though. I have to keep watching. That would be, I wouldn't be, able, I, 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 this, that was a sacred pact that I made. That was a binding agreement. So we got to watch till the end. I'm sorry. I mean, if it's sad, if you're sad, you got to just buckle up. All right. This person seriously follows me everywhere and does this fucked up shit to me. The next stream I do, so that this chat member is going to show up and be like, You've been doing this shit to me for over one and a half streams. You can't do this to me anymore. This is over. Which fucked up my entire life and my entire family because I can't stand them and I'm not everyone. Wait, 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 what? This fucked up shit to me. It's actually not a joke now. Because this person seriously follows me everywhere and does this fucked up Really? Oh, Who? Here. You don't get it yet. <laughs> So she's got like someone she thinks is stalking her or is maybe is stalking her. Um, it's a person. Does do they work here? Are they on the staff currently? What does the McDonald's have to do with it? I guess she just assumes they're in on it in some way. I, I, I guess. Uh... It's gang stalking, yeah. Life, family, yeah, they mixed fucked their life. Seven thirty-seven. Yeah, I don't know if the person is in the McDonald's currently. I, I, I would assume not. Two euros from Stag Beetle, Mick gang stalk. Gangstock indeed. And then another uh, oh, uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. I'm sure she got a McLoogie with the milkshake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I don't know if she's going to get the milkshake. I mean, maybe they are just going to squirt some ice cream in a cup and tell her to go fuck herself. But yeah, um, two two euros from Jamie Donnelly. Heard of YouTube, UTTP and those U YouTube are... Yeah, no, I know about them. They're like weirdos. Um, might look at them at some point, uh, but they've been around for a while. They kind of, they're, they're just annoying. I don't really need, I don't know, a bunch of children like 
swarming my channel or whatever they are. I, I, I find their videos insufferable, so I don't know, maybe not. Uh, but maybe. I guess this lady's waiting for her order. She seems like she's like the caretaker. So my mom and my sister were killed, though. That was really trying to play it off as a joke. That was funny, too. Wait, what was? Oh, no, no, my mom and my sister were killed, though. That was really trying to play it off as a joke. Oh, boy, this is full schizo hours. So sure, mom and her sister were killed. And I mean, I guess nobody... Nobody is there who's like me, who's willing to poke the crazy bear and be like, hey, so how does how does the McDonald's factor in, how does the milkshake factor into that? Like, why didn't you go off the handle when your mom and sister were killed? But it was the milkshake that gave you the passion to do all this? That's, that's, that's crazy. That was funny too. That was super funny. That was a good one. That was super good one. Are they coming? Oh, they're eight thirty four. It would be a funny joke. It's like you had to go through the same thing, you know? Order eight thirty four. Thank you. Hello, you have it. Huh, huh. All right, right back to it. Not a good idea. I told you to stop a long time ago. When I say no and stop, it means no and stop. I know you don't understand that. Everybody in chat is having a really good time adding the mick prefix to every uh to every word that they uh that, that they that they say so there's like mick family they mick fucking killed her mick family like you know a lot of that I think that's what the fuck I mean. but again you keep pushing it it's not funny to me it's not okay well see that's what they mean when they say humor is subjective because you know to everybody else in this restaurant this is very funny but you know, to her alone, she just doesn't understand the comedy in it, and that's a, that's fair. That's like somebody who doesn't get Seinfeld. It's like you're, you know, you're basically a shell of a person, but that's okay. You guys There's still a lot of don't people like that. Mick Schizo. Give it up, baby. What is like I'm told to watch to the end in this? Where does something happen though? Are you not ringing people up? Order two thirty three and order two. Are you not ringing people up? Are you not ringing right here? You think you could since there's so many people out here? Or? So now she's just generally critiquing the service and telling them, hey, there's a lot of people waiting. And it's like, maybe if they weren't having to deal with you and you weren't in the way, things might be going more smoothly. Uh, I, I think I did just use the V for smooth, smoothly. I just, that's what I said was smoothly. So that's good. Um, so there's got to be chicken and business meeting to come fucking out. Oh, is that part of the... Yeah. Part of the though? You can't put another person in the race. Order 242? Can I have a record of options? Yes, please. Can I have a record of options? Yes, please. Can I have a record of options? A regular... Man, one thing is for sure, I do sh I do sort of want McDonald's right now. Oh God, oh God. No, it's hard to tell what's happening at this point. I don't care. Uh -oh. She doesn't care. Back the fuck up, bitch. 744. She's gonna fuck me over, bitch. 641. Man, this lady is not even giving her the time of day, even, even. She's just doing her job very diligently. Again, these people are not paid enough for this. Okay. 
Where does something happen? Come on now, we're jumping here. They don't get what the fuck they're really doing. Uh, My fucking, they don't fucking get. What the fuck? There's actually really not an egg on my little. I don't know it, bro. I don't give a fuck. This is fucking having a real kid. Like, I don't care. These people have no clue. Shut up, Katie. You're a fucking faggot. Oh, no. Wait, they know who, wait, wait, they know who this is? Who, what the fuck? Dude, shut up. I don't give a fuck, dude, this is probably not even a real kid. Like, I don't care. These people are so- Is this a joke? They're really seriously not. My fucking, they're like, they don't fucking get. What the fuck? There's actually really not an egg on the hill. Yeah, no, it's wrong. Dude, I don't give a fuck, dude, this is probably not even a real kid. A real kid? What? Like, I don't care. These people have no clue. Shut up, Kenny. You're a fucking faggot. I don't think so, these people really understand what the- This feel- Is this a joke then? Fucking- Okay, fuck, bitch. What the fuck? Like, I will knock these fucking out. Bitch, what? Like, I will knock these fucking out. Bitch, what? Like, 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 what? Look at me like that again. I mean, this doesn't feel like a joke on her part, but I guess that lady that was like consoling her is maybe she. They seem to know. Was she screaming the 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 f slur, the mean naughty f slur at this at this cameraman? Does she know the cameraman? She knows she's being filmed, maybe. I mean, in that case, this is just a public stunt, which is still go fuck yourself. Like that's that reevaluates this as like. You know, that, that, that inverts this into, like, a different type of fucked up, I guess. I don't know. I don't give a fuck if he's safe, he's good or not. And who's I talking about? You ain't with him and you're never gonna be number one, number two, guess what? Who the fuck was I talking about, bitch? Did you know all, bitch? Did you work in the meat department at QLC, bitch? I mean, the worst part is, you know, she'd be a... Great fuck, too. I mean, you dumb, maggot, ignorant bitch! Oh, What's that now, bitch? That time she used M. It was an. It was the M slur. Run your mouth some more, bitch! What's up? Step out now, bitch! You know that's it, right? Even though you ain't never, ever gonna- Step on up to the cookout if you wanna get knocked the fuck out. To be a never work, a fucked up fucking person who works in a fucked up where? Oh, you're the one that always says that shit, that's right, bitch! Man, you don't, don't shut up, chat. You know I'm right. I don't know why you're always talking about some kid and you have to do with that, but I really think you're a fucking sellout ass. I mean, the last guy would have been like a, a very ineffectual fuck. If we're being, if we want to grade everybody on a curve, I mean, that guy, you know, definitely. I don't know. I was told to watch all the way to the end. She climbed over the counter. This is gonna be like a failure of a video if she doesn't climb over the counter. Yeah. Which one are you getting? Oh, that was the 26? She leaving? She left. She, she went. <laughs> oh, that is good. Waiting for the cops. Huh, huh. Well, I guess that's that then. I guess, I mean. All right, we watched all the way to the end. Great, good, awesome, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was her, like, acting crazy or if she was really being crazy. Because it seems like she knew who the cameraman was by name, unless it was somebody next to the cameraman who was being, uh, you know, who was being sussy. It didn't sound like he was saying, like, I didn't hear what she, what he said, whoever it was, uh, that she responded like, shut up, Kenny, you're a fucking, you know, mean word. Um, but yeah, and then the, the other lady that was like consoling her, she like, she, she, like, made this, like, gesture, like, no, no, bad, bad. I don't know what that was. I don't know if they were in on it. It might have been a performance art piece. What do the comments look like? Sis going through a whole breakup with McDonald's right now. Can we all appreciate the quality of this person's phone camera? Imagine telling a minimum wage worker to go fix an ice cream machine as if they could get paid enough to go and do that. 
or as if they w would ever do that or know how to or, like 925 the way she just snaps out of that fake crying is just insane i really thought she was crying she may have been crying i mean i don't know if she was snapping out of fake crying but she may have just very suddenly mood shifted I mean, this is a very manic person, it seems. Uh, based on her emotion, this is beyond a broken shake machine. Her whole life depends on it. Yeah, she was maybe, like, like maybe her husband took the kids. And, like, now she's like, no, I need this shake because it represents me getting my way. I, I don't know. I love how she's having a meltdown and the lady behind her is just taking orders calmly. And the person she's yelling at is all like, order 631. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it might be somewhat fake or something, but it's, again, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a shame, uh, to see people like that. It makes me sick, motherfucker, to see how far we done fell. Um, so, so that was the lady freaking out at McDonald's. Uh, if I, I'm still on Ottawa McDonald's fight, and we get, like, a different, I guess this is the same... Crazy woman at Ottawa McDonald's Rideau Street warning strong strong language. A different. There are actually indeed many fights. It seems at this one same McDonald's. This one was in San Francisco apparently. But uh, yeah. Oh no, wrong wrong thing. This one. Real warning, everybody. Strong language. All that. Okay, so what's the situation, Snake? We're all gathered here today around the beverage machines. Uh, people are looking on in horror. Uh, it appears to be this person probably in the the windbreaker or whatever, the, the hoodie that is uh, causing the trouble. Hey! Parker. Parker? Oh, Parker? Oh, you gotta hide your phone. What? You've got to hide your phone away. Hey! So this is just like a homeless, like, or, you know, crazy woman. This isn't even like someone who was, who just snapped and had like, like a sane person who had a breakdown. This is like a belligerent, maybe they're drunk or something. Oh, we've done some Waffle House. So yeah, I mean, I guess they are trying to, okay, she's trying to get her bag. I mean, I don't know, this is not like cra that crazy, people just have to deal with like homeless people screaming sometimes. I can tell if this is the same McDonald's from the, from the video with the male, with the male Karen. It might be. Police arrived. I had a nice breakfast. Okay, nobody cares. Right, good, great, cool, good. Um, uh, uh, McDonald's manager fights with customer. Uh, Ottawa, oh man, gang members in, 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 in downtown Ottawa. Crazy. Uh, brutal fight in McDonald's. Must watch. She used her keys as weapon. Oh boy. Four women pregnant fighting in McDonald's. Oh boy, crazy, crazy stuff. Why is there caution tape around the tables? I maybe maybe they should have shown more caution. Well, I mean, I don't know. How do we know any of these women are pregnant? They might just be, you know, large large women. Uh, I mean, I, I suppose the pregnancy would be hilarious to make. I mean, kind of tragic, dark comedy, if you will. You know, hope you don't hope nobody pushes you forward at any point and you land on your stomach. That would be a shame to happen to you in this uh, moment of uh, 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 fucking frivolity and 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 glee, which is uh, being on on display here. So yeah, again, we don't ever know why it's fights like these start. <laughs> Very questionable. Um, but they're always hair pulling. They're going in for the slaps. Oh, careful you don't fall over. Oh yeah, grab a thing. Hit him with the thing. Huh, huh, okay.
okay, so this lady in red is pregnant. And this woman is the one trying to be like, you are pregnant. Please disregard your doom berserker power up that you've just acquired and stop trying to rip and tear. I know pregnant women have cravings, but the fucking man flesh is not what you're craving right now. Please stop. A mixed skirmish? Careful, careful. Okay, we got some crack. Man, they are like going, they're like, they're like barring this lady off and the pregnant one, she still wants in on the action. I think she's trying to attack the woman who's like, please stop, they're, she's pregnant. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And, and, and it continues. It continues. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate stuff to see. I mean, it's a... I, you know, when someone else is there in the fray and their role in the fray that is now causing people to attack them is saying, hey, please stop. One of you is pregnant. And I think the pregnant one was also trying to attack that lady who was like bitch fuck you i'll be pregnant and fight people if i want to uh i think was the the general gist of that um so so yeah uh that's that's what happens that's mcdonald's fights right there uh let's see here all oh, the guys going by with the speaker oh wub 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 right there um uh when you disturb the movie theater too much. That baby's gonna have a crap home. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is the same type of mindset that you see in those Chuck E. Cheese brawl videos where it's like they're they're throwing a party, a birthday party for their little their little Timmy or whatever, and, and then, you know, someone decides to to show up who shouldn't have showed up, and there's uh, the argument starts, the fists fly, and then you are like Moving your kid aside so you can get a better view of her of other person so you can pe fucking beat them in the face. And like, you always see just those kids just standing around in horror and dismay watching the chaos. And that's probably the type of, you know, that that's that's the future of, of that of that ba of that baby. It's very sad. Anyway, here's con convenience store fights. This should be fun. Um Racist Karen on drugs fights convenience store clerk, you know, first result. Uh, let's go with that. Okay. This lady, this lady is not nearly as peaceful as her dress, her outfit makes her look like she should be. Uh, you know, uh, she is, she's... Visually, she is one with the earth, but she is very angry, and, uh, and and I don't know what this fight is about, but I guess she's on drugs. That remains to be seen. She might just be crazy. I mean, she might just be a normal old crazy person who's not even on, on anything to make them like this. That's always an option. <laughs> she dresses like a sink sponge. Yes. Yeah, no, not even. She dresses like a kitchen curtain. Like some ugly grandma, like, couch or something with, like, that that hideous floral pattern that people thought was nice for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's, that's kind of, and then she's got, like, the fucking wreath of flowers on her head, too. Bitch. Bitch. So once again, this is like, this is not about the food, clearly. She doesn't even want the food. I guess she paid for it, or maybe she didn't. 
but they're now giving her the food either way. Uh, and she's like, no, I don't even care. You fucked up my family or something. I guess this is, again, the 7-Eleven killed my marriage. <laughs> it's like, it's like what was happening in the last one was McDonald's was responsible for this lady being stalked for a year and a half or something. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Huh. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening now? This lady starts like going, ooh. Oh, okay. She said a mean word. I see. I didn't hear that right. That's bullshit. That's why you're a fucking. And then someone, I don't know if someone gave her the pass. Maybe, I don't know if her documentation was in order. She might have it in her glove compartment currently. Given that she's a woman, she may carry it in her handbag, uh, her, her appropriate pass, but yeah, I do believe that is what she said. And I love this lady's reaction, just like, oh, she finally did it, nice, good job, yay! <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I guess it does say racist Karen, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I guess it's not about the food, I guess it's also probably not about the racism, you know, I don't know what this is about, it's about her, ultimately, it's about her brain, and her drugs. No, I'm glad that somebody reasonable can come along and finally make a statement against being uh, uh, not racist. You know, a pro-racism statement from somebody who finally who, you know, we can like, you know, get behind because this lady is very understandable and she's 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 saying her points well. And it's like, you know, you can't you can't um, you can't argue with that, really. I mean, yeah, um, you know, this is good. This is good. Uh fuck me man I don't know why I watch these fucking videos dude <laughs> I was just like face palming the hardest that I ever have and I was like realizing while I was doing it like oh my god this is this is aging me in real time holy shit <laughs> So this lady is like, I will fuck you up if you don't get out of here now. And she is, you know, she's rising to the challenge, I suppose. I mean, you look like she looks like she could. Like, all you need to do is grab her by the flower thing on top of her head. And then, like, you know, you already have a, 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 a starting advantage. <laughs> Man, she's 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 uh she's all mad about everything and nothing all at once. She's gonna overturn the beanie babies. She's you know oh, very upsetting. Do it, though. do it. Oh, I like this lady in the seven. We like the seven lady. Big ups for the seven lady. Oh, she touched her. She touched her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And stay gone. Come back in, lady. Fuck around and find out. Oh, rip off the door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, violence. 
Sweet, sweet violence! Should I stop it? Well, unsurprisingly, this lady has gotten her the upper hand. Oh. Yeah, so like very quickly, the lady, if we want to analyze the brawl, the lady in the seven overturns um, Florence Pugh from, from Midsummer. Uh, and. Wrestles are right to the ground. Like I say, I think she immediately went for the little flower crown thing. Sunglasses lying as askew, askew over there on the ground. Stop it. Someone in chat says, "I'm glad they could finish this like like adults." Yeah, you know, it's always good to settle things like mature people. <sighs> Don't mind the crunching. Mm, I got mini chips ahoy's. Rainbow. I don't know what it matters that they're rainbow, you know? Especially when they're mini, you pop them in, the, in your mouth and you eat them. It's not like you're eating, like, a bite of a cookie. And, like, looking at it and there's rainbow chips. I don't know. Doesn't make much sense to me. Ain't no let it go. Get this woman. Get your free. Get your free. No. Just walk, baby. Just walk. Just walk. You just, you just know. You just what? Yeah, so this guy's trying to diffuse the situation. I think we see what happens here. Um, that was just the first video. Convenience store fights is a bustling topic. Got a compilation here. The convenience store destroyer. We got the dude from fucking Outcast, it looks like. Um Darren, Karen's husband, fights over two dollars. Oh, these are always fun. I mean, it is your money. It is two dollars. Two dollars might mean a lot for some people. Probably not that for this guy, you know. But I don't know why was he being denied his two dollars. This guy appears to have the fucking. I keep fucking right clicking because well, for some reason I don't know why. This guy appears to have the. <clears throat> Like the change, the the cashier appears to have the change to to give him. So I don't know why he was denied his two dollars to begin with. I gotta turn this up, by the way. I don't have people screaming at this point. You better watch your ass. You better watch your ass. You better watch. This got nothing to do with you. You got nothing. All right. I didn't tell you. I didn't do it like you. You're just an asshole. Yo, you take control of him. Hey, you get off. No, you get off. your face out of my face. Step off. Why are you coming up to me? Now I got three people. Oh, I said, what did I say? Oh, you're gonna fight again? Over what? Two dollars? Go the fuck up. Oh, it's about two dollars, right? It's about you priced the wall. Oh, you got three people. One, two, three. I mean, again, I'm kind of a little bit on this guy's side because why didn't he just get his money? What was the, like, what was the issue with just giving him his change to begin with? Just like, no, we've decided that we want your two dollars. I guess I, if it's, it sounds like he's got a reason to complain because these guys now given him his change. Proving that he had change to give him. It's not like, sorry, I can't break $2. He just gave him the $2. Yeah, I don't know. Why wouldn't they just give him the fucking money?
fucking mac and cheese and chat with the subtle Patreon shilling. If only he had spent that two dollars on subbing to the Patreon for as little as two dollars a month for extra extra videos and Discord access. Crazy. Hey, get your bottle. Hey, go. You got your money? Go. What's your name? Go. Spell it. You see your name there? Go. You already caused enough disturbance here. Go. I don't care. One, two, three, four. Get out. You got your money. All right, now who's the tough guy? Go. I'm the tough guy. Go. I can't understand why he didn't get his fucking change to begin with, though. Under what circumstances would you just not give the guy his change? And I mean... Yeah, it's two dollars, but like two dollars is not is not nothing when it comes to change. If this was a fight over like ten cents, you know, then you'd really have something. It's like, yeah, they don't have a fucking dime on them. You like go fuck yourself. Who cares? It's ten cents. But two dollars, that's like a not insignificant. That's a that's a closer to a, a significant amount. Where I'm like, you have the change for it, clearly. Why didn't you just... I don't know. I don't know. The guy's not handling it well, but what the fuck? No! You're calling the disturbance! Oh, no. No! You oh, yeah. You forgot your bottle. Have a good night. not my bottle. You bought him! Look at him. See? Go! 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 You'll see me in bed. You'll you can see, see me anytime! Oh, you're huh, huh. We'll see, Donald. I said let's stop, right? Okay. And you're the one who night. elevated it. Have a great night. Let's see, Donald. Enjoy your afternoon we'll see, and night, whatever. Good night. Why didn't you just give him his change, Donald? Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Come on, next. Donald, you're the man. Well, why didn't you? You should be sorry, Donald. Where was his money? It was his money. I'm kind of with Darren on this one. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't yell at the people. But come on now. Where was his, the fucking two dollars? I don't know, man. Cashier at Shell gas station assaults customer. The cashier is the fighter in this one. The cashier starts it. The customer must be provoking him, I would assume. Uh, uh, interesting stuff. You count it for me. Dude, that's fine. You, you count it. That's, that's one. one. That's one. I just did. I don't know. You count it. Dude, I'm telling you, that's a dollar. You count. How much? You put it. Ten cents, ten, ten cents. Like that. I can't be counting you for you, right? Oh my God, man. Come on, you do it. Dude, are you serious? You that's want to buy the thing? Yeah, you want I'm telling you, that's a dollar. I just counted it. How? How come it's a dollar? Because I just counted it over there yeah, in my car. Yeah, counted there, not here. In my car. Not in front of me. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, that's your job. Uh -huh. That's your job. You think okay, so this guy's trying to pay all in, like, bit change. I mean, it is kind of, I think it is kind of this guy's job. Isn't it? I guess not. I mean, I guess not. They usually count change or whatever as a courtesy. I mean, they'll take it and be like, because like you could get, you know, a regular order. Or like you go, there's like fifteen fifty six, and you go in and you give them like, you know, you know, a certain denomination of change. They're not necessarily gonna look at it until they put it under their thing. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. This is very tedious trying to pay in fucking pennies, though. Like, I, I guess fuck this guy. Your money back, and that's it. Yeah, you'll save you. Yo, go up. I'm not gonna leave. I'm you gonna leave. I'm leave just it. trying to get him, milk. Yeah, you, I don't know. You're you making can't a bitch. You can't. This is a dollar. I yeah, you can't in front of me. I can't. That's a dollar. You can't do in there, man. Oh fuck you. Oh, my God. Fuck me. Well, you can't do out in the car. But, but you can't insult okay, me. Okay, you just insulted me. I never insulted you. I don't know what no, you got No, you wanted to me to count your money, man. It's understand. your money you fucking count in front of me. I don't understand how you got to insult me. You go outside. Right now. Why? Oh, you're going to kick me out huh, because huh. I'm trying to I'm not kicking you out. I'm but not disrespecting you. You have to count this money. All I'm trying to do is buy my milk. If That's you, it. If you can't do it, That's what then go outside then. Look. I mean, this is, again, a lot of fucking difficult. Just count the guy's money, I guess. Like, at this point, just give him the fucking milk, even. Who cares if he's, like, two cents off? 
Fuck. Right. It's right here. Yeah, you go outside. Three dollars, and this is one dollar. Yeah, four dollars. This is one dollar right this here. This is not one dollar. You can't in here. So what do you want to bet? You come. I'll bet you a mil. That's one dollar. Fuck That's you, one. man. You Fuck you, man. He's stop being rude. No. You, you, you no. got your money that, here. That's one dollar. No, I can't I'm receive not this. A little no smiley face in chat. I can't yeah. receive this money like okay, that. Yeah, I get it, but you can't be treating a, a customers like that. I know. You're it's not even like that crazy of an amount. I mean, like, you can count that in a few seconds, probably. Like, if you're... <coughs> How long has this guy been cashiering? I mean, like, I would assume that he would be pretty good at it. Like, counting change at this point. The guy also had two dollar bills, it looked like, or... Whatever, so this is just extra change. So it's not even like he's going in there and buying like $20 worth of stuff with a fucking bag full of pennies. Like a giant sack filled with pennies. You know? Like that's not what's happening. So, I don't know why this guy's causing such a fucking problem over this. I mean, yeah, the dude should probably have come in with like some, some better change, but fuck. It's not right, man. It's not right, man. No, no you, you in the middle of fuck you, I mean, you, you can bring me up. No. <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 Because customers like you come here, me. you cost problem. How am I causing problems? You cost no money. That's what I just told you. That's a dollar. I personally counted it. You count in front of me. I'm going to have it. How much? How much I can go? This just keeps going in circles. Come on. That's when does dollar? the battle start? Hey, you count it, man. I'm telling you, that's one dollar. You you, you're being lazy. You're being lazy. I'm not lazy, okay? You're being lazy. I'm about to have a free soda in I'm a minute. Not lazy. You're being lazy. Huh. I'm not lazy. This yeah. is your job, You are too. an asshole. I'm not an asshole. This dude's just like, I'm going to steal the soda if you don't serve me soon, man. Fuck off with this guy. Give me my soda. Like, I like it. Oh, yes. I'm that's why you might bring money like this that. Is, you call this money. I this can't is money. receive money like that. This is money. No, you can't. I did count. I'm telling you, this is one dollar. It's not a dollar. You can't count simply. This is like really just going in certain like can't they keep saying the same exact things bro i counted you did not count in front of me but it's a dollar i cannot receive the money like that like just count it in the time that you've done this it's not that many fucking pennies just count it it's not that hard it's easy you count. man you can't easy. Easy. Yeah. Are you serious? because you're giving the money you count I'm not doing it on purpose. This is what I have. Then I'm not selling this you. This is what I have. If you can't, don't come. You're not selling I, I'm me not because selling I'm you, okay? bringing I'm proper not selling money. you. Why you got to scream at me? Get out, tight. I'm not going to get out. I'm just you trying to get outside. my milk. Right I'm now. just trying to get my milk. Bring my soda up, man. I'm just bring trying to up. get my milk, bro. Wait, you wait. No, I'm not going to wait. You, this Look, you're making a big ass I'm line. You're making a big ass line. A big ass Yeah, like this is a unique situation where usually it is like some asshole customer. But this is this guy making a giant line at this fucking store and people are now getting perturbed. I'm just imagining it's The Sims 2 open for business and there's people in the line and they're like, their 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 business shopper mood bar is going down because they're like, man, the service here sucks. I've been in this line for so long. This person's over here arguing with the cashier about change. God, fuck this. I'm going to buy my fucking groceries across the street, you know? Just like, can you see? Can you see the big line of people there, dude? Come on, just count the change. Sure. Me, I don't think you're you the big fella to come over to here. Me. And I will come you're over. You're being here. so rude. You can't be treating what? customers like that. I said, don't threaten me, because I will. Somebody says, at a glance, you can tell it's not a dollar. I mean, I guess so. It might, <clears throat> it might be that he doesn't want to go through the whole point of doing this, but it's like, again, shut the guy up, count it, and be like. I just counted. It's not a dollar. Come back. Come back with with the right amount. I mean... And at that point, it would be like, just give him the fucking milk. Like, who cares? Well, no. I mean... Now it's like, fuck this guy. A little bit. You know, I would probably not give him the milk. Because I wouldn't want him to have the satisfaction. But like... I don't know, man. There are easier ways to fucking defuse this thing. Come over there. I'm not threatening you. Okay, I'm sorry to do it. I don't think you want all this over there. You was a little motherfucker. Fuck you. Huh, huh, huh. Are, you, are, you are you serious? Are you serious? I got this in camera huh? video. What you can't be it. You can't be it. It's you people. Oh, boy. Huh? Hey, just, just let him. It's not even worth it, man. It's not even worth it. He's being a dick. He's being a dick. He's being disrespectful. Yeah. I'm just saying you're a dick.
Fuck you, brother. Do it, Ice. Fuck you. Fuck. Hey, it's going on. Fuck. Oh, boy. Fuck. This is what you get for treating Fuck. customers like that. Fuck. Fuck you, brother. Yeah, no. Fuck you, dog. 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 Fuck you, no. Are you serious, dude? All right, look, I'll do it. So nice, I'm gonna count you. Take the money, money go back, man. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it can't be good. Oh. I'm what are you doing? Wow. Are you serious? Wow. It's unbelievable. You should throw my money on the ground. Well, you no, know, I mean, again, you know, you can make the argument that this guy might be like instigating the cashier a little bit They're instigating like provoking the cashier a little bit like hey, 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 hey yeah no it's totally a dollar bro and people are saying it's probably not a dollar and i don't know if it's exact change but but like yeah the cashier should not be just shoving the dude's fucking change into the candy tray the guy's not gonna get his tray his change back now that's like in the candy tray it's between the snickers bars you're never getting it out of there we, on social media. Damn, <laughs> yeah, bro. Can I get your name? What's your name? What the fuck you want to know? No, what's your name? Because I want, I want to know what's your name. I have no name. I have no name. You shouldn't be treating customers like this. I'm telling you. I'm Shell Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I'm telling you, this is what you get. What you get? What you This is what happens when you treat customers. Uh oh. Are you, yeah, no. are you okay? Get out. You can't be touching my teeth. Huh? Go. Dude, are you? Dude, I see. All I came here to do is get my milk. You go and get your milk. Nah, I'm gonna call the cops. Screw this. This is, this is not cool, man. I mean, do you have the right to call the cops? I guess he did shove his money around, but the, yeah. I don't know if you're gonna call the cops in this situation. But this guy, <coughs> this guy is a bit of a cunt. It's probably like a franchise thing too. So he probably he might like own this place. He might be just entitled to be this way. Just I'm about to call the cops right now. I, I'm not, I don't care. Whatever, bro. I'm gonna call the cops. Is that what he said? Go. What the fuck did he say? You going? Dude, I see. All I came here to do is get my milk. You go and get your milk. Nah, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, that is a good one. Damn. I didn't catch that. Go and get your milk from your mother. That's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. At one point to the to the cashier. Oh, screw this. This, this, is, this is not cool, man. I'm about to call the cops right now. So what have our fights been about so far? We've had a junior chicken. We've had a milkshake. We've had a milk. Really some truly, like, between all of those, maybe $10. Maybe fifty, yeah, ten dollars. Maybe fifteen, maybe. Between all of those, that's quite a fucking minor thing. Minor between the three things for people to put to be doing all this over. I mean, maybe you own this store and you want you don't want to like lose your milk to some guy who's not whatever. But God, you're holding up the whole line and everything, and you're you're on camera now. Uh, I'm not, I don't care. Embarrassment. Whatever, bro. I'm gonna call the cops. Poultry and dairy, this mainly. Yeah. yeah. Cow related products. Maybe it's all mad cow disease. Oh, I got it. Yeah, one was like the concept of black people, I guess. I'm not really sure. That was that was drugs, mostly. Yeah. That's why you don't fucking come to stupid ass oh, I forgot what people like them. People like them? Oh, uh oh. Well, hmm. Maybe there were some things that we didn't see in that video. Um. Very graphic. Oh man. Armed robbery. Male store clerk and female customer fight yeah. here. Dude, I will destroy your store. Give me a black one. What up? I will kick you up here. Give me a gas. Black him out. Oh, what did he do? What did he do? Yes. Black him out. Oh, she's destroying the place. 
fucking it's a girl though this lady just this lady said i'm going to destroy your store and started to destroy the store yes get her out of the store fuck off with this it's a girl though shut up oh it's a girl though fuck you get this crazy bitch out of the store she has literally announced her intent to destroy your store L literally in those exact words Yes, get her out of the store. He's not, like, tasing her or hitting her with a baseball bat or some shit. He's just, like, pushing her forcefully out the fucking door while she fights back. This fucking... Oh, but it's a girl. You can't do that. Fuck you. Man. Hold on. Leave this door. Hit me like a bitch. Come on. Leave this door. You want me to leave your store? Leave this door. You want me to leave your store? Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. You just hit me, bitch. What's up? Leave this door. What's up? Lift the stuff! What's up? What's up? Huh? What up? Lift the stuff! What up? Lift the stuff! What up? What up, nigga? Come on, nigga! Oh no, did you? Okay, no, she's her paperwork is, her pay. She's she's got the lifetime pass. It's fine. Come on, nigga. What's up? She's got as many of them as she wants. Come on, go up, go back that bitch. Oh boy. Oh, not the Twinkies. You can do whatever you want to the hostess cupcakes, but don't touch the Twinkies. Come on. Oh, damn. But she is a, she's a girl, though. It's okay. She's allowed to do this. This is just her time of the month. It's fine. Suddenly, I'm turning into the Chris Chan guy in the McDonald's, like, Oh, but if it was a woman who did it! Oh, my motherfucking God. <laughs> you okay? See in the back, like, I just want some chips. <clears throat> oh, I got some just a cigar. Uh, that was pretty good. I like that one. It was good, good, good camera quality. Uh, we can watch this one. This is like a verified channel though so hopefully they don't uh hopefully they don't copyright fuck me uh all right you guys today we have never Luke. mind it's got commentary we don't need that uh 615 big fight and convenience store ultimate public freak out we got a bear at a gas station um racist karen instantly regrets picking fight is this like a fake no this is that video we just watched okay gas station fight it looks this is this this title looks like a, a darman video um the underage short change gold chain scammers oh, i think i watched this video yeah i watched this video on my own time like a couple years ago i saw this it was these kids trying to fucking steal uh trying to steal like shit from a, a convenience store and there was like security footage it's pretty interesting pretty pretty good channel um here's just a bunch of random videos that are completely unrelated to the thing you searched for but go fuck yourself uh and including uh, including like i looked up convenience store fights here's two things i didn't ask for and a stream that i am doing currently like i don't know that i'm streaming very good, YouTube. That's good. That's exactly great. I'm so glad that you 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 paid people a salary to to update the code to do that. That's cool. Um, convenience store clerk morphs into Iron Mike. Fist fight in front of a convenience store. Fast food freakouts. We gotta find more here. Convenience store fight at 2:30 a.m. Hey, don't mind kids you train. We're not really getting a great a great listen to what they're trying to say here. What's up, Let me use phone, please. Or can you my phone for a second? I'm stuck. Where you from? Pick it off, The audio is too shit in this one. Um, uh, convenient, yeah, we saw that. Smacked with can, Lamau. Convenience store fight three years ago. Mother brought her son to handle business. 
If you bring your stuff, you come to the house with my wife, they got with my kids at? No. Don't ever call my kids. If you break my stuff, what's the other thing? Look, 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 uh, rabble, rabble, crowd noises, it sounds like. Um, I ain't telling you, play. <laughs> that's his sister. And that's his girl. Well, you don't know what you know. I got your bad bad for you, so understand. I'm talking about coming to my house. I don't play. My house? Because I'm going to harm. You will not walk the fuck about me. I promise you that. I promise you that. That's a promise, nigga. That's a goddamn promise. This nigga right here. That's a promise. So, so the guy in the, like the little LL Cool J hat here is that like he is he is he the baby daddy? I don't know. Oh, he's here by my side now. He's here by my side now. He's here by my side now. I mean, is this gonna turn into? I mean, oh, yeah, no, it's happening. It's happening. Let him go, let him go! What the fuck? Jim! Stop! Stop! Jim! Stop! Jim! 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 Oh boy. Don't break the slurpee machines! You need that when that crazy lady comes in! Oh! Overturned! Oh man! Let it go, let it go! Let it go, homeboy! Yo, stop! Come on, come on! You got it! I respect you. I don't even know what's happening, man. I'm so confused. They fought. It was like a group of people fighting the dude in blue. I guess it was the mother brought her son. Okay, so that lady got her son to do the fighting. That was the Killer Mike dude. Right, okay. Um, women shatters hundreds of bottles. Right, okay. English supermarket. We were trying to go uh, international on the stream. This has still mostly been America. Oh, but don't you just sometimes wish you could do that, though? God, that must be fun. I mean, I said this on the last stream when the guy was wrecking a fucking Safeway. I was like, man, that has to feel really fucking cathartic, though. You finally just, you just slide all those fucking things off the shelf on all the smashing noises and everybody's like, oh my god! And you're just destroying that property and it's great. That must feel great to do in the moment. And then you just, you're conveniently ignoring all of the, you know, the consequences of your actions that are going to catch up with you. Oh, nice, nice. All right. So, uh. Please take a long time to get her on my Yeah, they're not gonna be here soon. She's cut with her right hand and covered in blood now. Right, she's right covered in blood now. Did she shit herself? I don't think so. That's just. I'm saying. Get some eggs. <laughs> Good luck with that. made it a life goal to smash all of this liquor. I mean, this has got to be like thousands of dollars worth of merchandise at this point. I guess maybe her life, something happened, maybe, I mean, here's my theory. Something is going on where she's like, you know what, I don't even care how much damage I do. I've already got to pay back hundreds of thousands of dollars in, like, whatever, 
Might as well smash some liquor bottles. Maybe that's the idea. I don't know. Or maybe it's just, just no thought for that at all. Again, it has to feel fucking great to destroy all this shit, though. I'm like, man. Man, I wish I could be her right now. In this exact moment and not before or after, because being her in her most of her life would probably be terrible. What is she doing? Oh, oh, nice. That fuck these bottles in particular. God, yes. I guess she got tired of the sweep maneuver. Never. It's funny how she's not drinking any of this booze. Doing anything like this. It's metal. It's metal. I thought she tripped and fell into it, but she's it's actually... absolutely fucking metal. It's metal. Why though? I don't know. Why. It's... We can't go near her, Ramona. She's throwing bottles. <laughs> It's... We can't go near her, Ramona. She's throwing bottles. You know, uh, you're right. That would be dangerous. You're. I hadn't thought of that. You're, you're correct. That's a good point. Actually, she is throwing bottles currently. She might be dangerous. Might not want to go near her. That's why you're the thinker there, Janet. That's you're a real smart one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she fell over into the glass. Yeah. Man, that's great. Uh, footage of the incident shows a large pile of broken bottles. Uh, the woman was arrested and was also treated in the hospital for her injuries. Lee Clark captured the footage, blah, blah, blah. The woman caused around 100,000 pounds in damages that include the destroyed spirit stock, lost revenue due to shop closure, and the cost of new flooring. Wow. A hundred thousand fucking big ones. Jesus Christ. I mean, that's pretty... That's huge. That's huge. Um, big and gauge. I don't know what that is. Uh, 2019 gas station knockout. Uh, you know, actually, yeah... Gas station fight. <sighs> Quick change artist. Philly man tries to fight cops inside police station. Karen regrets cutting the line after this. This is going to be a commentary video. Uh, shooting the gas station. Shooting in the gas station, Memphis, Tennessee. Me from the channel Memphis Gas Station Shootings, which. Apparently there are many uh, such videos for that, so they, they have a, a channel for it. Only in Detroit, gas station encounters. I think, so, uh, so. I think it's we've been well and truly proven that this is not only in Detroit. Damn, Damn I can't even find my camera in there. <laughs> so what's the situation? Hey, they came back. Oh boy. They're here? Oh, you shouldn't do that. No, they ain't here yet. They don't, they're not here yet. They don't, they're not going to come that quick. For her. Toss it. Toss. Toss it. Lock the door. Throw the other one. Throw the other one. No, don't take the cup of noodles. Throw the other cup. Okay. Throw the Damn. bottle. God damn it. Maybe I'll give her my gas money. She can slide it to him. Yeah. Uh, not much uh, not much is really going on here. She's tossing some stuff. That pales in comparison to the last lady. Uh, uh, Karen regrets cutting the line. Only in Detroit. 
hood fight jumps off at gas station. Uh, we'll do like one more of these maybe. And then uh, I, I have another thing I want to look up here. Uh... I think the guy also said it. I don't know. I, I think he. I think this guy said it too. He's talking He's talking up. Oh. For me, that would be so beautiful. That would be so beautiful. Oh, he got wasted. That was a straight up G. If I had the, uh, if I had the ability right now, I would do a GTA wasted meme like that. That, that was. Great. Oh yeah, he is out for the fucking cat. I think he got. Did he get his like fucking throat? Yeah, he's done. Yeah, well, that's a, you'll never see it coming. Uh, uh, okay, so, so gas station fights, right? And that's fun. But then we had two bucks from a lady class. Will you be looking at pet store or bank freakouts? And I think I will be doing that. I think I will be looking at, at those things. That's a good. Those are good suggestions. Yeah, he probably got knocked unconscious. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's fucking dead. <laughs> Settle down, chat, but. He's probably unconscious, uh, and, uh, unconscious? Unconscious? Un unconscious. Um, and he, uh, he's, he's, uh, yeah, well, he brought that on himself, clearly. Um, but yeah, pet store or bank freak. I'm gonna start with bank freakouts, I think. Bank freakout. Angry customer at bank. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, it does have to be cash. That's not customer service when somebody lives 130 miles away. Or we can take you check, I know. I, I tell you, when I walk out of this damn bank, I'm going to get on Twitter. I'm going to blast the hell out of J.P. Morgan. Oh, my fucking God, dude. I am going to write an angry letter to your bosses, y'all. For not taking cash in a bank. That's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. The most crazy. stupidest. Why well, feel that way? It's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody walks in the customer and gets cash, and you won't take it. Someone in chat just says, my god, this man is gay. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I like that. And you won't make an exception. Twitter moment. Lady, Not I'm... even a twit longer. Just one. He doesn't even need to do like a thread. He just needs, he's so concise. He'll just be like, yo, JP Morgan, get fucked. And people will listen to him. He's like a fucking Elon tweets. The world, the, 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 the fucking markets shift around it. Care who the yeah. fuck you call. This is ridiculous not to take cash on the, uh, It is Chase. It's not me personally. I appreciate you not yelling at me like that. Or yeah, but, but you have cash. the ability to do customer service. Why can you not take a $50 I can just tell it to you. Okay, let's see. Uh, at least like 100 or 200 this guy is like trying to actually conduct bank business while he's also surreptitiously filming the psycho. So it does have to be checked. I asked cash to cash print it, but I don't know why. So if yeah. my mom walks up with a fifty dollar bill, you're going, you're not going to take the cash from her. If it's her credit card, then we happily would take the payment for her. If you were a signer on that account, we would happily make that payment for you. Okay. Well, I've never heard. That's. A, I'm still going to get on social media and blast JP. Well, I didn't know about that. So fuck you. Uh, uh. Next time, for this. Oh, that I am. Time. Trust me, I am. And as you. No social media. I have over a hundred followers, ma'am. You don't understand how powerful I can I I can make big things happen. Mountains will move at my command, ma'am. And you're like I don't know if this lady like it's also always this thing where you're yelling at somebody and they're representing a company, and it's like I don't think this lady necessarily cares. Like, oh, I'm gonna blast J.P. Morgan Chase on social. Okay, fine. Okay, good. There probably are a lot. There's a lot of reasons I'm sure to do so, and this is the least of them. But you know, go for it. Blast them. 
I don't think this is like, I don't, I don't know why this lady should care. It's a whole lot of attention. So I'm not going to call Chase and complain. I'm going to blast him on social media. Either way, whatever you want to do is fine. I agree with you. Tw- ten retweets of this and you're done. You are not doing this shit to me anymore. Not after you fucked over, over my life for the last year and a half. My mom is 78. She lives 130 miles from here. They won't take a cash payment for the credit card. That's not their fault. How do you think I feel? Okay. Go tell me okay. to get a money order. I That's great. It's not customer service. One, I'm sick and not at all. Okay. Well, that's a real unfortunate situation. I mean, I do kind of think the guy might be in the right for, you know, complaining, but I mean, obviously, you know, screaming like this. Definitely one of the tamer videos we've seen. So, yo, angry customer at Wendy's! She had so much stuff. You got it to go, right? Tell him to go. And then I'm going to go. Back and back. Oh, no, you can't tell what the hell's happening in this argument. Who is he talking about? Well, yeah, this is Look, you can't get something Yeah, I'd like to order today. Huh, huh. Just saying. Okay. Just throwing that out there. A four-year-old. Wow. I'd like to order today. Oh, I don't. Can we can't tell what the argument is about? Just have to go since we're not welcome. Children are not welcome to enter. Children are welcome if the adults are okay. here with them. Listen, this one's stepped on my foot, that one's stepped on No, oh. excuse me, okay. no nothing. I'm trying to lean on the thing. I have bad knees and all. They're running in and out of here. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. We didn't get anything. She was not supposed to be like, 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 fight. Like, like, this, is this is a whole fight about how their children are mean, I guess. But this is... This guy's now holding up the line for some reason. Is it the people who work at the Wendy's fault? It's always this misdirected anger. To this, is this is Wendy's. Wendy's. Sir, this is Wendy's. Yeah, like yeah, that's right. It is proper school. Wait, can we just have it to go? This is ridiculous. I mean, you have to read it. I don't want you to take it. No. I'm not hungry. This is ridiculous. I'm not hungry. I'm going to Carl's Jr. This is insane. This is ridiculous. This is highly specious. And I will not allow it. Yes, someone said the thing. Exactly. Uh, racially profiled. Karen owned. Bank employee checked. Uh huh. Was she owned? Okay. Hashtag MAGA. What? So, yeah, 45 minutes I've been standing outside this bank. Thank you. 45 minutes. Uh-huh. They have yet. They barely gonna assist me now. Well, maybe if you stood inside the bank, you'd have better service, buddy. Has he just been afraid to go into the bank? I mean, I feel it, you know. Not too bad. Did you deposit in the bank? Yep. Pants or something. So the bank employee is going to be checked. And the Karen's going to... I guess the guy... Is she the Karen, I guess? She seems very friendly so far. Why did it take so long for me to get into this location? So our branch is currently on... It's called the split staffing model due to COVID. So half of my staff is on one week and half of my staff is on the other week and our lobby's closed and it's a drive up while we find out. Okay, so it was during the height of Corona and like, yeah, he, okay, that explains it. So this guy is like, is like very upset that he was forced to wait, you know, outside as opposed to waiting inside. I mean, I guess they maybe should have some chairs outside for people to wait then, but like, I guess you could just sit in your car too. I don't do everything. But I uh, called in and a lady on the phone told me to get here for one o'clock and I've been standing outside since 1245. So I'm, do you know who you spoke to on the phone? I'm not sure, but all your phone calls are recorded. I'm pretty sure you could find it and I, reference I it. And I yeah, I'm pretty sure you could find it if you wanted to because everything's recorded nowadays but my whole point well i mean yeah it does seem like this guy was told some false information i've been i've had to deal with that before 
I had a situation where I put in for like new ID and like three months later I'm like, hey, where is it? And they go, oh, sorry, we forgot. We'll do it now. And like, um, you know, so yeah, that can happen. And is the lady told me get here for one o'clock. I've been standing outside since 1245. I, I was actually out. the first person in line. One of y'all came out and asked me a question. I told her I had a one o'clock. Well, I don't know if this lady's a Karen. If she's supposed to be the Karen who's getting owned, I mean, I mean, I think she she does doesn't know what's why this happened either. Appointment. She confirmed my appointment was at one thirty, even though the lady on the phone never told me that. But just me personally speaking, if you know, I had to confirm. This is not much of a fucking Karen freakout video. Mm -hmm. What's with that? Is my time not important to you? Definitely Obviously, it's not. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that guy has the right to be upset. Probably. I mean, it does sound like he does sound like he uh, was was told some some bullshit. Uh, standoff at Wells Fargo Bank. Uh, Tennessee is a no mask state, and if you are going to do business business with me, you will respect my rights. Well done. I won. Oh boy. Okay, are you gonna let me deposit my money? Because if you're not, here's our other option. What's the other option, Karen? Go open your, and here's our option. No, and here's our options. I either deposit my money or you go open your safe and you start counting and give me- Somebody in chat says, oh, I can tell by the voice already that this is gonna be bad. Yeah, it's one of those you can really tell. You can really just tell for some reason. It's hard to say why. She does have that like, I, she sounds like the lady in the McDonald's, you know? Um, uh, and I guess this is an interesting, this is one of those cases where it looks like the lady who uploaded it is the lady who posted it, like the lady who made it, rather. Uh, so she's doing this because she thinks that this video is going to make her look good, I think, and justified, and like everybody else is crazy, and she's a victim. I think that's the idea. It's, God damn it! it's always great when the Karen uploads the video of themselves being the Karen, and they're like, look guys, look how hard done by I am all of my money okay so i have about two hundred thousand dollars on deposit with wells fargo i banked here for 25 years through di all different kinds of buys and sales of the banks and if you aren't going to allow me to deposit my money in a state that has a no mask mandate state no lockdowns then just go count start counting okay go over there to the safe start pulling it out you can pull up my count i'll wait here right now and just give it to me in cash no, no, here's the options. You, I'm not putting cash Why? through the drive through or through the drive. I'm not doing it. I guess asking why will not fucking, I guess because it's not as secure. I mean, yeah, I suppose that's fair. But like, if your cash flies out of your hand, they'll probably like, that probably won't happen. Just take care of your fucking money, I guess. And like, do it in the drive through. Maybe she doesn't have a car. What am I saying? Of course she does. Um, she has a car. She could go through the drive-thru. This is the ultimate thing where it's lit. It's not even, it's not even, I can't have my way. It's, I can't have my way in my exact preferred way. Like, it's not like I can't get a milkshake. It's like, I can't get specifically a large milkshake or specifically a vanilla milkshake. Like, I don't know, man. Just settle for the strawberry. I put checks in the... No. No, I'm not putting cash through the drive-thru. But here's our choices. You let me deposit my money. You've got shields. You can wear your own mask. You can do what you want. I mean, this is kind of fucking stupid that they're making this whole deal when they have the, like, the shields and they're all wearing the masks. I, I think it's more than likely fine to just deal with this woman but i mean fucking also at a certain point you know like if i was one of these ladies behind the till behind the fucking if i was working at the bank right now i'd be like 
Oh no, ma'am, sorry. You're gonna have to just leave, ma'am. Sorry. And just try to like fuck with her a bit. So that might also be happening. It's a non, it's not a mask mandate state. So go get my money, go get my money. Just start cashing it out, start counting. That's our choice. Start counting. I'll go to another bank. No, I'm not going through the drive-thru. You can here are here are the options. Deposit my cash, so or go or go get my money out right now. Go get my money out of the safe. Go look up my accounts. No, cash out my money right now. To the drive thru or unless you want to wear a mask, we have a mask no. right here. Go cash out my money. There's a safe. Go start counting. <sighs> I mean, it really does come down to like. You know, I guess it's their, it's the, it's the bank's business. They can choose to do what they want to do in the bank. And the, the no mask mandate thing. I don't think that mandates that you don't wear masks. I think that just means that there is no mandate for wearing masks. So in other words, this private business can choose to just fucking, you know, to just make you wear a mask if you come in, you know? I think they can. But at the same time, I mean, yeah, they could probably just, just like fucking deal with this and just like, whatever, fine, you can just do your thing. But then why would they have the rule if people are going to come along and break it and they're just going to buckle? I, I don't know. There's, there's ways of looking at it. Clearly this woman is being unhinged and, and flying off the handle though. And uh, this whole like, no, no, you listen to me. Here are our options. Like she's fucking, like, like she's trying to train up a five-year-old to fucking like potty training a baby or some shit like this is very very obnoxious to listen to my, your option is to deposit my cash or go get my money out of the safe and i'll take it someplace else because this is over this I'm is done. over and i i did everything everybody wanted me to do for a year we're done Tennessee is not requiring mandate at mass. You are practicing business in the state. Well, you know what? You're in the state of Tennessee. Tennessee is not requiring a mask. That doesn't mean that it does. That, that doesn't mean that it requires no masks. It just, there's a lack of a, a requirement doesn't, you know, factor into this. They're choosing to wear them and they kind of can if they want to. I think they can still just be like, no, you have to wear a mask, you know? I mean, like, you know, consider it like, hey, if you want to come in, you have to f fit the dress code, that kind of thing. It's it's like people, they're entitled to do that as a business. Um, you ever notice, by the way, that the, 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 the old Karen come back, the standby is like the, we're done. This is done. This is over. You hear that a lot. The, that, this just declaration that like, no, 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 we're not doing this anymore. I, I have already gotten my way and you have just not realized it yet. This is over. We're done. I am a very, I'm a very high strung entitled white lady. And I, I have already got my way and you're going to realize that once it's, once it's too late for you, sir. Okay. Respectfully, you're in Tennessee. The, the you are working. Us to wear masks, so. The CDC does not require it. So it does not require it. Sparkles requiring as well. Okay, then go get my money. I'm okay. Do that, ma'am, or through the drive-thru. You're not going to put two hundred thousand okay, dollars through the drive-thru. Just one moment, because we are bringing security. Why? Over. Okay, sure. Why does she need to have two hundred thousand dollars given to her in cash? Did an Indian scammer ask to have it FedEx to her in a shoebox? Or like, why would she need $200,000 in cash? I was thinking that it was like, give me all of my money in cash because I don't want to bank with you anymore. Which I guess is, is valid. Um, but, but yeah, no, I guess it is, uh, give me all my money in cash. Uh, and and, and I, I don't know. I don't know why she wants that. It's like, maybe if you weren't taking out $200,000 in cash, you could go through the drive-thru. Once again, it's on you a little bit. Yeah, yeah she tried to close her account, I guess. She might be an MLM. <sighs> yeah, she could wire it to another bank. That's a good point.
debit cards, but security card or anything like that. And uh, you do get security is coming. Where is security? He's going to loom around the doorway. We're going to see him. Where's the fuck? There you go. Oh, no, it's just straight up police. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, so my understanding is, is that uh, the bank has a policy for masks. Um, are you are you just trying to attend to one of your accounts here? Yes. Okay. Um, they are willing to help you through the drive through if you don't want to okay, wear a mask so in the on, business. Okay, so hold on, Why are you here? What's, is there a law that's been broken? Well, if their policy here is that you have to wear a mask. Is there a law that's being broken? Let me well, speak to your supervisor. Well, if they're asking you to leave, then because you're not adhering to their. It's open to the public and I have hmm, over $200,000 in the bank here for over 25 years. Okay. So I gave them an option. I said, I'll be happy to leave if they'll walk over there to the safe. Pull all my money out and give it to me. I'll go There's through. not even a hint of irony or like joke at all about the like. So I gave them an option. That's really annoying me a lot. I'm going to tell you, chat. The like, that whole like, I'm, t I'm giving you a, a choice. Like, just asserting yourself as being the one in control of the situation, which is like, I'm sure a tactic she uses on... Like, her dogs and her children and her husband and all the people in her fucking, like, country club or whatever. Um, very obnoxious stuff. You can tell a lot about this type of person. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know. She do, she just keeps coming back to that one and it, it's bothering me. It's, it's really bothering me. Banks who want my business. So, okay. if they'll just pull it all out, I'll happily leave. But if I'm not breaking the law... I don't really need you here. Well, why don't you come step outside with me? We'll we'll talk about it, but it's not this is not a public property. This is a business. It's and open if they, to the public. If it's... they ask you to wear a mask inside, you have to adhere to those guidelines. And if they ask you to leave because you're not adhering to those guidelines that they've set. Yeah, you know, I mean again, it's, it really is like people are thinking of it in terms of I'm forced to wear a mask. It's just a dress code at this point. I mean, if you choose to enforce that it's the same thing as being like, you have to come here in a tuxedo. You have to come here in fancy outfit. Because, like, yeah. And if you show up and you're just in your casual fucking jeans and sneakers, you're going to be kicked out. And it's not like you can raise a stink about it on social media because that's just what their policy is. So in this case, it's like, no, we just still feel like you should wear a mask, which, may, you know, maybe you don't agree, but, I mean, that is what their policy is. Uh, so, you know, kind of go fuck yourself. Um, then, then she's on the easement. You know You're right. I mean, she is on the easement. Okay. Would you like me to call a supervisor here? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you want to step outside with me and then no, I can go ahead that? and call him? Cause I want to know what the law is because Tennessee does not have a mask mandate. Listen to me. This is a business. I'm, I'm listening, ma'am, and I understand. This is a I business. Understand no, what you're saying, listen, but listen. This business they, can set their own guidelines as well. But they are operating. They are, are registered with the Secretary of State to operate a business in the state of Tennessee, and they are open to the public of the state of Tennessee that does not have a mask mandate. Okay. But again, that doesn't mean that they have a mandate not to wear them. You can wear them if you choose to so it's like why don't you get that it's very clear so if they don't so want it's fine if they don't want me as a customer yeah, there's nobody yeah, else in like we can stay six feet apart okay. go get my money I, under, I understand what you're saying as well um I can okay have them go get my here. money and i'll leave i can't make them do anything but well, you're I can, trying to what make I can me do, do something I can, I can call your, my supervisor and he can explain to you okay well. sure let's okay. do is this let's a, do this is 250 from 244 can you head my way <clears throat> We're gonna get a second cop in the action. I mean, she's eventually gonna leave, and like, yeah, I don't know. 
It's a whole video. It continues. I'm not watching the whole thing. That's a lot. I like that this lady is the one who uploaded it, though. Connie Reguli. Oh, boy. This is... Family law attorney. Oh, jeez. Tennessee laws and adoption. Okay. Right. Fake crime scandal. Oh, dear. All right. Well, that's a whole other situation. Crazy lady going nuts in a bank. Fights with employee. Public freakout. Fail. Uh, maybe. Women arrested for refusing to... God, again? Again? Rude customer by service by Bank of America. Don't even know they own policy. Now tell me, why are you refusing my service? Because you're not abiding by what we're trying to This is the rules, right? This is the Bank ID. of America rules, right? We're asking you for your No, ID. but there's ID. ID okay, what is at the, the bottom is said? Can you read that for me? You're going to have to leave. Can you read this, what it said? You're going to have to leave. No, can you see what, what it said? Can you read it for me? Yes, can... we understand. We're just saying we're reading Okay, there's a four item. You have to have either one of them, correct? Thank you. It doesn't say business card or any card. This cash report is required. ATM a card with the uh, valid ID. Uh, you really need to comply or you need to walk. Okay, we're gonna have to call the guard. We've well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess he has the insufficient ID, but I, I guess according to him, the rules are unclear in some fashion. Already informed you, we're not trying to harass. Okay. You. Please just uh, go by what the bank is telling you. We're not gonna all. So you're just refusing me with ATM card, correct? It has to be done by policy. Our policy is... The policy is here. Clearly mentioned it or not? Okay, that's who told you. This is the policy, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going you know to give you the... I'm going to give you the... Get the Guard! Is it really illegal? I don't think that's illegal. This is kind of... This is... I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm... I'm, I'm call I'm, the police now. Okay, you call the police. police. I'm not going to go. To, yeah, call the police. You are not... I think it is actually illegal to, like, record you. I mean, you, you know, it's maybe rude. We're getting into the 1A territory a little bit with that, but, uh, yeah, she's not freaking out about that. And, I mean, I, again, it does sound like there's some kind of a, uh, 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 a loophole or something with regards to the... Uh, the the whole thing. So so I I don't know. I I really don't know. It's tough to say sometimes who's really in the wrong. This lady seems like she's overreacting a little bit. So does this guy. Allowed I, to record in the bank. This is a free country. You are not, not allowed to record in the bank. That's fine. Then get your phone off and get it no, out. No, I don't want to take up my phone off. Get because you're refusing the service for nothing. Call the police. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, fucking popo. I don't care. I got legs. I can run. I already recorded everything. No, I don't need to You're pull not my phone. To oh, yeah, right. Out. You are nothing to refuse me. You, you work for out. me. I don't work for you. Oh, God. Of course. All right, instant 20 points deducted from the, the, the guy behind the, 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 the plexiglass or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, it, I, uh, they don't work for you. This isn't even a government institute. It's not even one of those. You're the police, I pay your salary. It's, it's, that's not even close to true. You, that's nothing illegal in this country. You cannot record You cannot bank. discriminate people to signal color you on ID. This is not the way it's worked. It you discriminating, you, you guys just discriminating policy. me because your policy is right there in written in black and white. And this is gonna go to media. Well, it's gonna go to media, I guess. I have to be over smart. I guess I'm the, I'm the media. She's trying to be over smart. Don't you be over smart, lady. You, you know, with all these different different policies and the different different locations and the different different things telling me the different different things. Don't you try to be over smart? All right. You 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 mother children. So yeah, I mean they're they're conflicting over what the the rules are in the bank. Let's try uh, pet store freakouts. <sighs> Crazy woman harassing service dog and man in chair and, and a wheelchair at Walmart. Oh, that sounds good. Come come, hey hey hey. Please don't touch. Please don't talk to him. Don't touch him. He's a service dog, and you're distracting when you're talking to him. Sorry. 
Thank you. Fuck you. Eat shit and die, bitch. <laughs> well, you're a crazy woman. So is wait, is this Dr. Canis? Is this like him again? Did we accidentally stumble upon Dr. Canis, the male mobility Mary? The excuse me, ma'am. Uh, mobility Mary. M mobility Martin. That was Dr. Canis. I wonder if this is that's this guy. This lady, I mean, okay, she had a very strange reaction. Thank you. Where she just sta stands there for a while and stares. Like, she can't process this? Fuck you. Eat shit and die, bitch. Come on. Well, that's a little bit of an escalation. Ah, poor bitch. Wow. <laughs> Mental. Oh, she's making fun of how he has no legs. Come on. Come on. I mean, she did just be like, hey, nice dog, or whatever. <laughs> okay, well, this is stupid. What is this channel? What, what do you mean, crazy woman harassing? Wait, we're supposed to be on the side of the, the guy? I mean, yeah, like, she, yeah, she should have probably walked away, but the, 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 the jump, the sudden escalation of, fuck you, bitch, just fucking suddenly it's we cry together. Uh, I love how she just stands there staring. Well, yeah, like, maybe she shouldn't have done that. That was weird. It was, that was a very strange moment, yes. But why, why did she... I, I don't know. That's that's odd. That's an odd one that we're supposed to be on the side of this guy who just randomly starts Calling her names and everything. I mean, yeah, I, I don't I don't know about that. I don't know if I I don't know if I sympathize with that one uh, uh, Mistreatment at New York City pet store uh, Oh, right that, that veteran right racist Karen Toys R Us Pokemon card kid tantrum. Oh, that's fun uh Wyatt and Emma pet store freakout. Uh, not really finding much in the way of pet store freakouts and like you know grown ups. Adults in adults interacting with my service dog and fainting. Oh okay, right. Crazy customers working at a pet store. Uh huh. Yeah, not much in the way of pet store freakouts. I wanted to see some bitch beat someone with a snake. But I don't think it's gonna happen. What else can I look up, chat, that might get me something crazy? Where can I get, where do I get some crazy? What's a good thing? Can I, I mean, we've done Walmart. I guess supermarket freakouts, right? Supermarket freakouts. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Is this a full video of this? One lady versus entire grocery store. Best public freakouts. I mean, this is a whole channel of public freakouts right here. Uh, 16 minutes is the whole thing, this one lady? That's really good. Problem with the Never mask Never mind, cult. it's a fucking, it's a it's commentary video. Go, uh, grocery store mask freakout at Peso Ro Robles. Uh, a smart and final. Uh, and not a food for less. It was a smart and final. And this, uh, this is a screaming match that will be the smart and final screaming match. Hello! Stop touching me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Get away from me! No. Get away from me! That's about the fucking ma yeah, gross mask freak out, right? <sighs> the fuck, like, I guess it's just this idea of like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not getting into the whole psychology of the mask freakouts again. We tried to tackle that a few times, and there's a number of factors that seem to 
tie into it. It's this, you know, there's an entitlement. There's like this, uh, nobody that I know has coronavirus, so it's fine. It's all fake. Or like, oh, I, I don't know. There's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons why people start screaming in stores because of this. When I mean really ultimately putting the mask on is not that big of a deal. They view it as sort of a, you know, sheeple thing. Like everybody is a sheep, you know. But I mean at that, I don't know. I guess I can see where it's like, you know, you're, I, I've, I've described it before in the sense of like you could... It, You've seen so much sci-fi where there's, like, evil government conspiracies and stuff. And, like, you can imagine, you can easily imagine, like... Isn't that even the plot of Deus Ex? They, they, the original Deus Ex game, I think they, like... They fake a virus, and it's like, soon they will... The, 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 the infected will flow out into the streets and the churches. They'll be begging us to save them. And, uh... Uh, like, yeah, like, you can kind of imagine the government, like, we're gonna make you all do this to control you or something. And so I, I guess I can see that. But, uh, you know, it's also d done for safety precautions. It's kind of like, it's kind of like if you made this argument over fucking cooking meat. Like, yes, we have not recently been told to cook meat. Like, that's an old, that's old wisdom. So we're used to that. But, like... This is just a new thing where it's like, no, this is just a thing we're doing because it's wise to do and because it's probably, you know, healthy at this moment in time, more so than not wearing the mask. Uh, and I, I guess what I'm saying is it, it's it's this idea of it's everybody's doing it, so they must all being be being brainwashed into doing it or something like that. It must be some kind of a conspiracy as opposed to just, it's a good, you know, the, the Occam's Razor answer, which is that it's just a good precaution to take at that point in time. Uh, you know, if you went into a supermarket and they were still throwing you out for not wearing a mask in 2023, then that would be probably cause to be a little bit uh, questioning, you know, regarding that. But, uh, but, 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 but at this point in time, this was like, what, two years ago? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, this was what was wise to do was wear the thing. So I just I don't I don't know. It's like it's like it's like rallying against wearing pants. Like why do we? Why does the government make us all wear pants, man? Cause they just do. I don't know. Fuck off. There you go. security job. Oh, it took three of you to stop me. <laughs> hey. Hang in there, sorry. I mean, that's it, I guess. You got thrown out, yeah. Karen ruining employee's day for 24 minutes straight. Man on drugs destroys and eats everything in Wilma. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, at all? Hell yeah, dude. Get that shower, buddy. Oh, this guy's super on stuff. Oh, yeah. Get some chips. Eat some chips. Where are you? Can you get off him today? Can you get off him? No, 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 I'm telling you. Have a, have a, have a fruit. Grab that watermelon and just start biting it. No, eat some corn. Yeah, eat a maze. Yeah, he did. He ate some corn. He ate some corn. Yeah, eat it. Eat the grapes. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, this is a good freak out. Pants are going. Looks like the pants are leaving. He ate a tomato. 
Have some of those chips. Eat some chips. Hey, can you get up? I'm sorry. But again, haven't you ever just like... God, watching this is so satisfying. It's like you just wish you could do this and you get to see it happen. I mean, obviously we don't wish we could do this, but like every everybody has, has thought about like, what if I just like knocked over this display? What if I just pushed as hard as I can and toppled over all of the aisles in this supermarket like a dominoes like do, like like a dominoes fucking pattern like and I just I just toppled them all you know all in one push like like everybody's thought about shit like that if you just like what if I just you know just 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 started fucking tearing open the meat section you know just ripping steaks out and stuff and obviously you don't do it cuz you're not insane but man, you watch a video like this and it's, oh, it's really good. I like it. Mm. Stay in the back, Kevin. Feels good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Eat a ho-ho. Oh, he's going to take some mayo. He's going to eat some mayo. How's he? Yeah, he's going to eat the mayo. He had some mayo. That's it. That's all he needed was oh. the mayo. Wait. Wait. I'm just watching at this point out of sheer curiosity to see which foods is, are on his palate today or on his diet. He has some like yogurt fruit drink or something poured all over him. Oh, help me. Please. Me no. Oh, help me. Come, 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 come. Eat some oh, cheese. Okay. What's he got? Yogurt? Oh, yeah, dude. This is what I call free samples right here, bro. Um, okay. Uh, uh, huh. You do have to love the people who's de who are definitely not paid enough to be here. Okay. Like, uh, like this guy in the yellow in the yellow thing, just like, all right then, moving along. <laughs> Time to build, time to mosey on to my job, I guess. Uh, you do, you keep on doing you. Oh, I want a cosmic brownies. Like, cause I'm just now, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining if I went on this tear and it would be like, yeah, I've got to have a cosmic brownie. I take one bite, I realize they're not as good as they were when I was eight, and then I throw them away, and then I have, like, some yogurt, and then I'm like, you know, I don't want to eat too much yogurt, because then I'm going to, you know, that's going to be, that's a lot of dairy, that's a heavy thing. So I have a little bit of yogurt, and then maybe I take, like, you know, maybe I just decide to take a big old bite out of some ground beef, you know? Like, like, you're really, I want to, I want a video game where you have to optimally destroy a supermarket and, like, eat and destroy food. And it's like Katamari, you have to do, do it in like an optimal way and get get your score per perfect. Come on, grab something else. Grab something else. Yeah, eat an egg, eat, eat some eggs. Yeah, eat some eggs! Oh yeah, baby, eat those eggs! Right to the face! Egg to the face, brother! Fuck yeah, dude! Watch it, watch it, watch it. That's the good stuff! Yo, we got somebody outside for you, sir. That's the good stuff. God, somebody needs to, like, grab some bread and just start wiping him down. You know, he's, like, covered in, in sandwich materials at this point. So... Oh, let me see here. Two bucks from Sean Morris. Click your own stream. No, thank you. I want to watch that guy. 220 from James Smith. Rip Unabomber. Oh, well, uh, Rip Bozo. Two bucks from Chelsea Rockers. Did you get some yummy num nums yet? Well, I had a bunch of ice cream and I had a bunch of cookies and, uh, I'm gonna eat more. Uh, don't, don't you worry. I'm not, uh, I'm not wasting away to nothing. I still, I don't know, man. I I think I was just a fat boy before, and now people are like, wow, you're like ordinary adult male size now, and you're not like, you don't have a fucking, you don't have a giant beer belly anymore. What what the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god, are you, are you sick? It's like, maybe, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, no, but I should, I should be eating more. I, ha I have been is having issues. I've just been like, no, you know what? Uh...
I'll, I'll just I'll just put off eating or whatever it's too much too much work to get up you know so so that can be troubling you don't want that to happen to you uh, five bucks from autistic wolf thanks for the quality content claw it's not helping me with my violently bad alcohol alcoholism but I'll start thinking tomorrow uh, I think starting tomorrow I'll go full bear mode and stop well I haven't really fully stopped I've just like you know I, the, I I've really only had Bailey's for the last couple of months uh, since like the end of March, I was just like, you know, I had a really bad hangover. Uh, I I don't I don't think I need this anymore, which is a shame because I did just move back to a place where they sell beer at Walmart. I should get a beer. I should just have a beer later and just you know that would be nice. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, no, you, you don't. It, it, it's for the best. I also felt bad about like. I don't want to enable people and be like, oh, well, the, the funny streamer man is, is drinking. Because I realized at a certain point that I was I was partially drinking on stream because I was like, well, it's funny when, like, Mike Stoklasa drinks and, and it gets, like, super wasted on, on Best of the Worst. And so it's, it's, probably, it's probably also funny when I do it. And then it's like, wait, that's, like, a bad influence. I should probably... Because other people are going to see me do it. And then it's like... And I knew people in my life who I'm like, I know you're probably not drinking because, like... I do it, but because, like, man, just just settle down, jeez, you know, yeah, so, drink responsibly, folks, uh, five bucks from Deadpool Tacos 89, I remember my first view, uh, view of a freakout, Little Caesars over a couple of bubbles in a pizza, yeah, they weren't that big, but she made a scene, bubbles, like the thing where the crust, like, bubbles out or whatever, or, like, cheese bubbles, I don't know what you mean by, I mean, that's not a big deal, I like those, Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Your content drives me to drink. Uh, how do I stop, Bear? Well, uh, I don't know. Get to a point, again, get to a point where you realize that it's more, it's less fun than it is, uh, like, like horrible hangover the next day. And, uh, maybe that'll, maybe that'll do it for you. I don't know. It doesn't do it for most people, though. Uh, 492 from Exile Postman. Hey, did you look up any bar slash pub slash club brawls? Uh, not yet. I mean, bar fights is gonna be a whole thing. I don't know. Uh, uh, that's like, I mean, that's like, that's a whole different genre, frankly. But, uh, we could, we could maybe look at a bit of that. Five bucks. Mm, sorry. Five bucks from Wiggly Fungus. That's the kind of mental episode you see with bath salts or TikTok videos. Oh, dear God. Yeah, uh, two of the worst things in the world, obviously. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Have you typed in Buff Corral? Fun stuff. This was up! This was up! This was up! This was up! Yeah, I still remember him doing, uh, I looked up Buff Carell, and the very day that I looked him up at one point, he had uploaded, uh, a, a Buff Carell style cover of, uh, I forget which song, I think it was, it might have been Open Car, it was a Porcupine Tree song. It was a, por it was a Porcupine Tree song. Earlier in the day, he had done Mars Volta, and then I think, like, a week later, he did, uh, Shadow World from Persona 4 Golden. Uh... And, uh, you know, obviously he rocked all of them, as, as, as you would expect. 279 from Louise Lois. I found a weird VTuber. Dash the Hamster VTuber. Uh, Dash the ha Well, you know, we could do a whole VTuber stream, frankly. Dash the, the Hamster. Um, this is just a fucking child... Is this like a, ch a child? No. Okay. He appears to be a a young, uh, either an old, a, a grown kid, like a teenager, or a young, uh, you know, young black man is 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 what this guy is. Uh, Dash the hamster VTuber. Not really what we're looking at right now, but uh, interesting. Uh, interesting, maybe VTuber. I don't know. I don't know that this would be that interesting to actually watch. A lot of this type of content is usually pretty fucking boring, but I don't know. If his mom ever yells at him to, to, to go to the bathroom and take a shit, then maybe that would be something. I don't know. Um, we can look into it. We can look into it. I'll save it for later. Uh, let me see here. Um, yeah, so... Let's see. That's fine. That's fine. Man on drugs destroys everything. Titled woman. Public free... I mean... Hmm. Well, here we have, now here we have, you know, we've had some great, we've had some great mix-ups, you know, where we've had, like, the Asian guy yelling at the black guy, 
or the white lady being racist to the to the to the black lady or like you know a bunch of it was it's been a bunch of interesting setups here we have trans woman goes off on black lady and accuses her of stealing so uh so so uh this could be this could be very exciting i'm glad that they finally brought some progressive uh, elements to to, to to supermarket brawls Wait, okay, so, I mean, the one who's screaming really loudly, who was like, YOU'RE NOT A WOMAN! I, 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 I would assume that they are the one who is trans here, uh, so I'm pick. very confused. You Fucked up, huh? Fuck that hoe! I'm not him! Looks like fucking Buster Rhymes in a wig. Call your man, bitch. That's what you wanna do. Call your man. I love the ass, the dump truck ass on this on this individual is like that one uh, Germa Thanksgiving video. Yeah, that's what you would wanna do. Your mama. Your mama. Your sister. Your brother. Your uncle. Your cousin. Your nephew. Your firstborn, bitch. Uh, uh. I don't give a damn, bitch. You're stealing, I'm not. You're stealing, I'm not. You got a whole pussy. Damn. Bitch, you're tired. You're damn. You're stealing, I'm not. And you got a whole pussy. You got a whole pussy. God damn. You're tired. You're, tired. you're the last of the motherfucker. Hey. 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 Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why are they restraining that lady? This other person is the one who's like screaming and causing problems. Man's over here just trying to get his pork chops and go, damn. You nasty bitch! You nasty bitch! You nasty bitch! This truly is if Rudy Ray Moore transitioned. I'm very proud of him. Lock the door! Nasty bitch! Nasty bitch! Nasty bitch! Nasty bitch! Yeah, is this, um... This logo here? What is this exactly? Does this look like anything to anyone? Hmm. Uh, interesting logo, yeah. Somebody pointed it out in chat. I'm just like, wait, there's a swat. What? What? Oh. Oh. And like immediately now my eyes are drawn to it. You know? Nasty bitch! Nasty bitch! Nasty bitch! Yo! She getting a nasty selfie! Bitch. Give a fuck about a nasty bitch! <laughs> oh my god, this is such sass. I love this person. Fuck that hoe. Fuck that hoe. I will give that bitch a nickel for that dirty ass pussy. Fuck that hoe. Fuck that hoe with an uncle's dick. Fuck that hoe with Uber Uber D's dick. Fuck that bitch with Donald Trump's dick. Huh. Bro, like, did they already know each other? Apparently, the trans woman is going off on the black lady, accusing her of stealing. It's also like, the trans woman is also black, so I don't even know why you gotta mention that the lady is black, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Twerk, scan, yell, scan. Exactly. Don't do drugs. I didn't say anything to you. I'm not a 
I love that there appear to be like no repercussions for fucking Rudy Ray Moore just like I wouldn't fuck you with Donald Trump's dick bitch like nothing seems to be happening to that person it really is this lady who's entirely at fault at this point that's great that is great because she certainly caused did not cause the scene but like I like to imagine the people at the store were just like, this person is so hilarious. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't say, we can't, we can't come down against the, 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 the like fucking insult heckle comedian that's just like shouting at her. We gotta be on her side. We gotta be on their side, whatever. I There's a very obvious reason for, for that plot. <clears throat> what are you talking about? <clears throat> Take your brawny, your stupid brawny, and get the fuck out! Um, yeah. Karen freaks out because Dairy Queen closed. Hell yeah, dude. She also couldn't get her milkshake. She couldn't bring all the boys to her yard. I came in here, couldn't come in here, you guys were closed. But I had to wait out in that line. And now you guys are coming out there and telling me you're closed through the drive-thru as well. Well, I can't get in there. Well, you can't get in there. Well, then you should have said something. I've been in that damn drive-thru for 10 minutes. I know he didn't tell me. I asked him when I got out of my car. And I want a phone number. I'll go, I'll go. No, you're not. Because you wouldn't ever tell people to walk in here, you would say, you know what, we close at 9 o'clock, and then you are driving through. You would say, So, but they're open now. Like, did she, like, go in the night before and they were closed and then she went home and she stewed about it all night just so she could show up the next day and be like, Hey, fucker! Hey, fucker! Your store was closed! I mean, I do remember the time when I went with my dad. We went to an A&W restaurant at, like, uh, midnight or something. And they list themselves as being 24 hours. Turns out it's just their drive through that's open 24 hours. So we go up to the drive through thing on foot and we're like, Listen, can we just get served, like, through, this, through the drive through And they're like, No, you need to be in a car. That was some bullshit. Like, you're clearly open and making food. Just give us the fucking burgers, you, 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 you cucks. Just fucking give us the fucking food. But, like, in this case, it's like, I mean, they were closed, I guess. So, fuck, fucking get the food tomorrow. Like, you're, whatever. I mean, they're open now. This does appear to be an argument about some other time when they were closed. Not now, when they are open. Me too. Phone number, please. Thank you. And your name as well. Yeah, she's like shouting, of course, at the squeaky voice teen from The Simpsons, as someone pointed out. Uh, this kid is like not even out of high school, and she's just like, You're not sorry for my pain that you put, 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 fucking put me through, you and your restaurant. Like, again, it's this fucking, you're yelling at a wall of what is Dairy Queen and the restaurant. And you're not even stopping. Like, this lady has not even considered that this is just a, a fi fucking 15-year-old. Like, he doesn't give a shit not only about you and your fucking not able to get a fucking peanut buster parfait at six, 4 a.m. or whatever. He doesn't give a shit about this company failing. About, like, like, why would he care at all about any of that? They don't pay him to care about any of that. Like, oh, oh, what are you going to do? Like the fucking guy at the bank. What are you going to do? You're going to talk up shit about the bank on fucking social media? Okay, go ahead and fucking do it. They're not going to fire me because of it. Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to chill out. 
what? You need to chill out. You can fuck off. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Ever really proud of her on that one. She looked, she looked. You know what? You, you know need what? You can fuck off. She looks very, very happy with herself when she said that. I, you know what? You know what? You can fuck off. And then she just looked like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I said it. I said it. And I'll say it again. Because this is America. Oh. Everyone here thinks you need to chill. I really do. Oh. Go to another yeah. restaurant. I don't want to. Are oh, you, the you don't want to? If he was trying his best to run a business, he would have went out there when I came in the first time. Miss Snobby ass. <laughs> he said they were closing. Inside! He said the wife threw us Oh open. my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, Ghost Love Score. That, that that's a, that's an escalation there. The drive through was open, so you couldn't I mean just again, I like Maybe I'm just like a bastard hippie or whatever, but I just I, I can never not hear these and just be like, okay, so come back, go to another place, whatever. Just whatever. Just go home. Do you not have, like, Ritz crackers in your fucking cupboard that you can eat or something? Have a fucking ice cream sandwich and shut up. Go home. You have something at home, don't you? You're, like, you have a house, I'm sure. You have enough stuff in your life that you have the, abil the ability to be fucking bliss busting about this. But, 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 like, no, you just have to get your way. Fucking hell, man. Oh, the Dairy Queen wasn't fucking open. Yeah, you know, maybe the 7-Eleven was open and you could have gotten something from them then if you're really just so hungry. No, you need a Dairy Queen. I wanted it! So now I have to have a fucking temper tantrum. God Whoa. damn it. Firing. No, I won't. I got a good night of sleep and now I'm like, I'm just fucking, f I'm just, this is, this is draining me. Thank you, give me the stuff I want. She's a customer just like me. No, I'm standing up for the employees that can't bitch you out like I can. No, you're right, they can't. It's you that's bitching. I think there's eight people in here. I don't care how many people that are in here. How about that, Miss Karen? Oh, I'm Karen. So you're recording me without my permission? It's legal. It's legal. Yep. I don't really care. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You don't know my name. Oh, I can find out your name. I can tell. I can tell all the people on the Chans all about you. I'm the queen of the Chans, sister. You better. 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 You bet. Yeah, go ahead. teenager feeling like he needs to apologize to this woman he looks terrified and now the police are here of course <laughs> great wonderful uh wait what was that burger king that, that might be good um karen freaks out because dairy queen is closed Tweaker fights Walmart employees. We, we, I want people who aren't on drugs. That's also fun. Super Christian Karen freaks out. Christians take another L. Well, what does it have to do? Okay, how is that? Oh, it's this fucking bitch. I know this woman. Yeah, we watch. I think I've seen her videos before. This is the same lady who was freaking out about she was doing the chicken dance because they, they got her garbage wrong or something. Um, uh, public freak out by Sherman Flick. Parents destroy kids' electronics. The dumbest customer ever. Rude piece of shit. This is your original piece. Right here. That's your original piece that was in there. That's in. Original piece that was in there. Original Same piece. Size. Same what size. What is going on? Are trying to prove a plumbing dispute at this point? That's what it was in there. He, you, he got you the same size that was in there. For all I know, this is the Chris Chan McDonald's guy. That's two feet. That's what he did. I understand what you're saying. 
You say cut, cut you a piece? The size. To fit in here, it was too thin. To fit in here? To fit in here? I no, I didn't talk to you. He, this is what you brought well, in. We're not nice. arguing about it. That's it. So like, you want to say, Will for who do that? Uh, this one is lame. This one is lame. Uh, you know, I'm as expecting. I mean, you know, you're in a fucking hardware store. Like, beat someone over the head with a porcelain toilet. Come on now. Fight at the deli section of the grocery store. Uh, grocery store kid condom ad. How to deal with another Australian racism filmed in another Australian racism. Filmed in Woolworth, Adelaide, Rundle Mall. This man comes from Mars. Fucking touch me. Don't fucking get involved with shit that's none of your business. Oh, mate. You don't ever fucking film people without their permission. Do you fucking understand? Goblin woman. <laughs> Greta Thunberg over here. Absolute shit. Fuck off. Stop your filming, you, you just asshole. Need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> No, get there, man. You need to stop. Yeah. Who the hell do you think you are? You don't film people. Uh, Who the off. fuck do you think you are? Turn it off, is right? I am. This is a private property. You cannot film in here. You can't. So real, well, really, really, bitch, really, bitch. Oh, fuck that. Oh, oh, oh. Turn it off, is right? This is a private property. You cannot. Film I cannot express in words how much I hate this bitch. This bitch here can fuck off. Like, like, learn, the, read the room, bitch. Don't be mad at this guy with the fucking phone out. Maybe deal with Nanny McPhee over here, okay? M fucking hell, I cannot, uh, wow. Go fuck yourself, lady. They're all, like, staring at this guy for filming this insane, cr crazy bitch. Oh, that's awful. Oh, I hate that. This is a Larry David moment. This has just made me invent an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm where Larry David starts filming a crazy person in public doing this shit, and then everybody turns on him and they're like, how dare you film somebody in public like that? And he's like, well, you see videos like that all the time. I was just trying to film a video like that. I was going to go world star, world star. You can't go world star, Larry. You're never allowed to world star again. You know, it's a whole episode. I've got it in my head right now. Can't She's well, being aggressive. She's job. being aggressive. I, I have, I have to, I have to, I have to. They are all fucking. Well, they are all like, like, like bearing down on this guy. Maybe this is racism, because this guy sounds like he has a bit of an accent, and this is all a bunch of people just like you have to stop. Get out of here, you fucker. Like. Protect you. No, you're not. After she has been following us, uh, swearing at no, us. No, you followed me up the escalator. Right. Yeah, cool. hey, she I'm, has, I'm she has you, followed you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. This is bullshit. This is why the emus won the war. <laughs> This yes. is not fair what you're receiving. Yes. I'm with you, alright? Yes. I'll have you bloody charged! You know what? You guys don't need to be no, around this not. shit. Uh, I'm sorry that this is happening. This is not cool and it's not fair. Sorry, you Get guys. Get out! Oh, Get out! Who, like, I don't know who fucking Ken Doll is over there, but this, like, GET OUT! This lady's coming along, just like, GET OUT! Just. She, you can see, I love the way she looms in off the frame, just like here she is. All just sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, you, you, need, you need to stop. You need to stop turn swearing. Your fucking phone off. You need to stop swearing. Hey, you tell them. Yeah, someone's saying that this might be, uh, the guy might be Asian. Um, uh, maybe this is some kind of like a, a an, a an Asian racism sort of thing, which yeah, I could see that. The way that they're all so willing to just, like, be on the side of this psycho lady and, like, you know, just because he's filming, like, I guess they just assume and automatically that he's, like, up to no good. Which, yeah, it does seem maybe some kind of prejudice or something, yeah. As if, as if this psychotic screaming bitch is, like, not the one that's causing trouble for people right now. Miscellaneous screaming noises. No, you don't. You don't lose your life. You're running. You're not a judge. You're a job.
Yeah, yeah, so this is like I guess a Chinese guy maybe who uh yeah, they're they're all like screaming at him. I mean, it really doesn't seem like he did much to deserve this. He was just uh Yeah. Aussie legend. I mean, like, but that's the thing. This is a person who is most likely mentally ill, and they're just all, like, coming to the aid of this woman who's screaming and causing trouble, as opposed to the man who's just calmly filming the crazy person, which is a thing people do. I, I, I don't know. But that, that, that one doesn't sit right with me. That one... I was so, I'm so quick to be like, oh, that's not... that You know, I don't know if this one's really racism or whatever. I don't know if this is... But no, that one seems a little... Eh, it's a little concerning. Uh, parents destroy, right, so that's supermarket freakouts. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Um, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Buff Carell did a Metal Gear Rising cover today, just saying. Yeah, I think he's done a few in the past. He's, he's, he's all over the place with his covers. He's a very talented guy, obviously. And, uh, five bucks from Annalisa the Snark. Well, now I feel bad for not believing my husband when he claims that he has to avoid a fight every time he goes to get groceries. Well, maybe your husband is the one who's starting the fights. Maybe he's avoiding them because he's like a Karen and he's like, uh, I don't know. He, I think he, that if there, there's fights every time he goes to get groceries, then that sounds like that's a him problem. Maybe it's the, it might be the, t the, the cashiers though. I mean, it might just be a shitty like grocery store. I don't know. Um, let's see. Was it 337? I should probably call it here. Uh, might do another stream in a little bit, you know, maybe, uh, where we do some, some, uh, music stuff, um, possibly, but we've been going for a while today. Uh, we, we've done some good freak out stuff. We didn't get as international as I wanted to, but we got, we got, we got a bit of international flavor. We got a bunch of new videos and, uh, you know, I think we've really, we're, we're really going to need to think of some new interesting venues for public freak outs to happen. Because so far we've, you know, I mean, maybe a church brawl or something. Uh, Exile Postman suggested, like, bar fights, but that feels like a whole other genre, really. I mean, that's like drunken people. We're looking for people, because that's like, okay, you're drunk. That's the catalyst of why there's a fight. There's not really any mystery there. When you're fighting in a, Den a, a Denny's or, like, a Dairy Queen or, like, a, a Walmart, like, there's a lot more of a question of how it came to this, I guess. How, 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 we, ca how we sank this far. Um, but we can maybe look into that too, you know, I think church brawls could be good. I, I'm, I'm holding up for that. Uh, but thank you for watching everybody. Uh, take care, uh, penis and don't start fights in public cause somebody will film you. And, uh, I guess if they're Asian, you can probably rise up a hate mob to like make them stop filming you, but don't do that either. That would be mean. Um, yeah, I guess in general, just try not to be a bad person in life and, you know, uh, j j try to be